welcome to all nerds here on your oh. channel good news a little the little wiggly wigglies are wiggling which means we've got sound so yay oh good yay we have sound yay. uh <laughs> hi we're so excited you're here with us today uh for this new launch and uh pwn season two but before we get started uh we really wanted to uh make a statement before we get started on anything today because there's stuff going on in the United States, especially right now, that is very important to us as people. And we felt like we needed to make a statement about that before we did anything today. So um, as a group, we want to make a statement about what's happening in the United States, especially around um, Black people and Black lives and that, that they matter. And that what's going on in our country and the fact that people keep getting killed is not okay. Um, so I'm going to pass it around to the group and let everybody have their say. You can just jump in as you'd like. Uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll grab the reins for it. I got a microphone. I'll use it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's... I know it's, like, weird and scary out there right now. Um, but the one thing I would urge... Hey, white people. You, you recognize me. Let's talk briefly for a brief moment. I know it's weird and wild and scary out there, but I super need you right now to keep in mind two very important things. One, property is just property. It's not people's lives. If some folk break it, it's okay. They're mad. I'd be mad too. Uh, two, the police aren't as good as you think they are. They're just not, and they never have been. I'm sorry, that's a hard truth, but I need you to start recognizing that. Uh, Kate, I believe you we're going to put some links to stuff in the chat is what we yeah. talked about. Mm -hmm. So if you have the means and you can't go out and join in any protests wherever you are, please, please, please consider, if you've got money, donate to people who are on the front lines of this. You could be better. Um, I'll jump in next. Uh, as scary as it is for a lot of folks um this is the reality that a lot of people have been living with for a very very long time uh and it has been systemically birthed and has gotten worse over time uh and the time for excuses is is over and we have to stand with our our neighbors and our friends and our family and people that we don't even know uh because there is severe injustice in the world and uh like fox said if you guys can donate anything to any causes to help support uh, if you can't protest or, or you're immunocompromised and you can't go out, um, anything like that, step up, donate what you can. Uh, the cause is worth it. I think that it's very important <clears throat> that we all stand together and for things that are right. And that this is something that people have always had to deal with and that we need to make changes. Changes need to happen. We got to we got it and the thing is everyone's been trying to be nice about it for too long and it's now to a point where it's past that point and you know i know it's scary it's frustrating but it's if you can't help it definitely would matter so much to so many people um you can e even just resharing information and making sure people are informed and staying informed is absolutely important and imperative um because there is so much misinformation being passed around still. There is so much media coverage that's not being produced, not being shown. And if you can, just make sure that the word gets out. Make sure people know and people understand what is going on, why it's going on. Yeah, I want to echo everything that everyone else has said. Um, right now, it is very easy for you if you are a person with a position of privilege, um, if you are cis, if you are het, if you are especially if you are white right now, uh, most of all, there is sort of a hierarchy to privilege that you may not be aware of. And so now is the time, if you have not already, to educate yourself on what that privilege means. Be aware of the space that you take up in the world and try and use that as a tool to defend the people that do not have the same levels of privileges in this life, in this world. Um, you are, it is your obligation as white folks to use your privilege to defend those who cannot because the police will not shoot you 
The police do not want to hurt you. If you are there to defend people, you are doing the good. If you cannot be on the front lines to protest actively to show solidarity with other people, um, you, I encourage you all to open up your wallets um, and donate to bail funds in states that actually do use cash bail because there are several in the United States that do not use that anymore. And there are people that are unfortunately trying to take advantage of that um, and to scam you out of your money. So do your research. Um, if you cannot give money right now, if things are too tight for you financially, I encourage you to educate yourself, to educate your friends, to educate your family members. If you are a person who has a platform on social media, it is your obligation. It is not your choice. It is your obligation to take that moment and make a statement to say Black Lives Matter. We are obviously not saying that only Black Lives Matter in the world. We are saying right now, historically, Black lives have been pushed down beyond everyone else's. The system is in place to keep them at the bottom of the food chain. And we are saying enough is enough. It has been enough. There has been far too much suffering um, at the hands of the police state that has decided to enforce just a, a system that has been built to reinforce slavery constantly since the inception of this country. Um, and so now, if you cannot, if you choose not to make a statement, your inactions are speaking volumes to people about where your politics actually lie. We are here to play a role playing game. Um, games are art, and all art is inherently political. Um, so if you are someone who believes that there is no place for politics in your games, um, I strongly encourage you to find another hobby um, because that is simply not feasible in, in any form of human expression. All, all games have politics within them. Now is the time to educate yourself. We are an inherently political wrestling game. We are the progressive wrestling network. Um, if, if that is not something that you're interested in, I there are plenty of other people you can tune into that don't think that people should have rights um, and that people are human beings. So please do your research, get educated, get out there if you can, um, and make sure that we all understand that we're all in this together. None of us are free until all of us are free. What Simon said, so for this whole channel, what everybody said, I'm just gonna reiterate what everybody said. Links are in the chat of places that you can help um, I'm going to make sure that those are out on social media today on our account so that you can share them. And uh, just like, like Simon said, educate yourself. This is important. And this is what we believe, what we stand for here, all nerds here, and what we will continue to believe and stand for. So I hope you're yeah. ready to go on that journey with us. Black Lives Matter. Shall we wrestle? Let's do some wrestling. Smash some meat together. <laughs> wrestle time. But first, let's introduce ourselves, right? We could do that. Oh, so yeah. Who we are. We're a new channel. We should. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the way, who, <laughs> like, tell, tell who the hell are you people? And how did I get in this call? <laughs> yeah. I don't know any of you. Uh, so, hey, everybody. I'm Kate. I go by Mia Madera on the internet. And uh, this is PWN Season 2 on an all new channel, Arnold Tier. We're just a bunch of friends who like to game together and like to roll dice for fun and for your entertainment. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I hope you now understand completely what we stand for. That was fun. If you didn't before. Uh, I don't remember what order I put the uh, overlay in, so I'm going to look at it. I'm going to go to Fox. <laughs> Hi, I'm next on the overlay. My name is Fox Barrett. Uh, what do you, uh, I am here as part of PWN. What the hell do you want me to say, Kate? I don't <laughs> It cursed me, I don't actually- Oh, and you're eating. So, like, that's right, awesome. who you play? Sorry. Who I play? Uh, I, yeah. pl I play um, the Phoenix. Uh, did we mention what game we were playing? We're playing the Worldwide Wrestling RPG, by the way. Um, and yeah. by... I don't have who it's by. Oh, we have a we have head. a thing in, that we could put in a chat for that. Okay. By um, there you go. Um, and we uh, have gotten our, our, our greasy mitts all over the uh, playtest materials that were release recently released for the upcoming second edition of that game. Uh, so I will be playing uh, Phoenix, whose playbook is the anti-hero. Uh, I also have a second character who is going to be uh, the uh, the clown playbook, but we'll get to her when we get to her, I think, if you want to hang on to that, because she knew to season two. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's me. Okay, cool. All right. Next, let's go to Simon. Hello, everybody. I am Simon, a.k.a. at Lucha Libris on Twitter, and I am playing uh, Death Blossom. She is a sort of like goth, more goth poison ivy. Uh, she is a luchadora. 
Um, she was uh, formerly uh, undead and maybe possessed by spirits, uh, as Katrina Calavera, recently exercised by the rest of the squad, um, and now she is back. Uh, she's made a, a change of heart, and she's ready to get in the ring and wrestle for justice. Um, I'm also announcing as Ramiro Rudioso, the inverted triangle of a man um, with a uh, too much enthusiasm to bring to the ring. Um, and I'm very excited to potentially, we'll see if it happens, um, be a number of our small, furry, felted friends, uh, the Better Buppet Bureau. I mean, we'll it'll happen. That we episode. just know when it happens. Who knows? Right. <laughs> it'll, it'll happen. It'll, it'll just happen. <laughs> yeah, it'll happen, I'm sure. Uh, Smurf. It's a threat and a promise. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Smurf. You can find me on the internet at DSC underscore Smurf. Uh, tonight or today, this afternoon, whatever time it is, uh, I am playing Ron Steerling, the uh, Prince of Fab uh, and the current triple champion uh, of uh, PWN Live. Uh, I also play Rory Cemetery, who is my commentator character, and this is my cat, who is asleep. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Aww. Sleep cat. And... Mood. Jackie. Hi, everybody. I'm Jackie, better known as Death by Mage, and I will be playing The Cook, who is the wonderful culinary parody of The Rock. And I will be also, for the ever counter to, <laughs> to Ramiro, will be the ever so wonderful Johnny Wong, who is as enthusiastic as a, st a, a stone tablet. <laughs> I don't know. You can still kill a man with a stone tablet. I, I don't know about Johnny. <laughs> He's like a wet paper towel. He's like, yeah. yeah, he likes merch and snacks a lot. Like, he's like a, two things that he gets excited about. Merch he's like a, and snacks. He's like a turtle you left in the freezer for a little too long. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, poor buddy. The poor, poor thing. Um, I, I'm, Kate, I'm Kate. I run creative, so I try to make sure that these fun people and their characters have things to go up against. And interesting and otherwise fun characters like the owner, Alistair McCormick the third, and other things. Um, so, like Fox said, we are running the playtest materials. This is our first time playing with those materials, so we might be a tiny bit slow. So, I just wanted to give you a warning, but we're going to do our best to keep the action fun and exciting. But there are some differences, so we're going to make sure uh, that we're going to try to keep it moving, but we're going to also keep a feel for what we're doing. All right, everybody ready to get wrestling? Yeah. Baby, I was born that way. We're gonna cold open. Oh wait, we, do we have any? Oh, we got top of the stuff moves. Oh right, is anyone top of the card? The card? Are you top of the card, Ron? I think uh, he is. Yeah. I repackaged, yeah. so I'm. Well, so lower. here's the yeah, thing, I, though. I repackaged uh, too. I, 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 so, question: It really depends. Yeah. Uh, this is what Fox was about to say. I think. Okay. Uh, since we're going to the playtest materials, I don't, I didn't fully carry over everything. I got rid of some stuff that I didn't feel was like needed. Okay. Uh, with the character, so I'm fine if we have no one essentially be at the top spot. We're starting fresh with just like what our current starting audience is, so to speak. Uh, actually, what I was going to say was, um, if you have four audience, that is no longer the top of the card. Uh, yep. The top spot is one level above plus four audience. Uh, so yeah. really, it was a matter of did we want to grandfather someone into that spot? Oh yeah, I would. Mm -hmm. I would have been at four previously, but I currently you know, I reset to two because I wasn't. Sure. I'm just wondering since Ron now has three titles, he ended the last game. <laughs> he should be in the top titles. spot. <laughs> I feel yeah. like he should be in the top spot. This is my one. This is my one thing. Yeah. Which means he makes the over move. Yeah, I yep. think he should. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on. Taking the top spot. When you're at plus four audience, you gain an audience and you take the top spot. Okay. Oh, but when you get knocked out of the top spot, instead of dropping down to three, you reset your audience. Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. I should have read these more closely. For that, I do apologize. It's been a, it's been a week. Okay. <laughs> See, so 15 gonna... minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to roll the over move, which I need to find in the playtest materials. I'll, I'll just roll the dice. We'll Look there. at Ron just rolling over. I rolled a 10. Uh, do I add anything to that, or is it just... Uh, you don't... Do you even roll? I don't remember. 
over. Oh uh, yeah, uh, the yeah. over move. The, over no, 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 you don't roll. the episode opens with a segment focused on you and your agenda. You gain three momentum, and then you spend one momentum, one for one, two. Demand to be granted any match you wish. As the main event of the episode. Okay. Add a stipulation to an upcoming match. This can be the one you just demanded. Call out anyone on the roster and gain plus one heat with them. Declare a non-wrestling segment for later in the show. One designed to show you in the best showcase you in the best possible light. Or introduce a new aspect to your wrestling persona. When that segment starts, you take plus one momentum. Or you could choose not to spend any momentum. And then you start the episode with all three. That's a lot. Better. But you're not fulfilling your potential, <laughs> and creative makes a soft move to prod you toward greatness. Um. <clears throat> decisions and decisions. I know. Mm -hmm. This is under audience and advancement. In the uh, so I'm going to declare uh, a non-wrestling segment for later in the show. Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> and then I like I'll... It. I'll take the rest of the momentum. I like it. Okay. Uh, we are going to open on Ron in Alistair's weird room. Ooh, weird room. I have a thing for that. Weird room. That's office. No, that's not nope. office. That's control room. Yeah. Might not have an overlay. I gave it to you. Yeah. <laughs> you may okay. have. I'm checking. I'm checking. You did. Don't worry right. about it. It's all right. We're good. Uh, Don't even worry about it, folks. Shit's just happening. It's all right. We're good. Uh, we we come up on. It could be the office. That's fine. We come up on. Uh, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. On uh, Ron and Alistair in his weird room office, whatever it is. And he just looks at you. He's sitting in his chair. Yes. I did it against the bank of screens behind him. So, triple champion, what are your plans for PWN? Well, <clears throat> it's simple. The golden one shall keep all of the gold forever. <laughs> Anyone that comes for it will get knocked to the side. You may think that this promotion is yours. This promotion now belongs to the Golden One. I expect you think this is going to be easy, Golden One. Everything comes easy to the Golden One. Hmm. If you say so, and he'll just turn around in his chair, lean back and look up at the monitors in front of him, which are just all the scenes mm -hmm. of the wrestling arena. If you say so. Even you can't be me. And I think that's where we'll close that scene. I hate him so much. <laughs> and we go into the opening. This is PWN Live! <laughs> From Vancouver, Washington! <laughs> Your action packed wrestling extravaganza! Featuring all your favorite wrestlers. There are no credits because who knows what wrestlers. But there are sh there are like this whole like uh, montage of scenes from last season, like Phoenix and her heel turn. Uh, you've got Ron on top of the cage. You've got Death Blossom like hold like holding Katrina out in front of her. You've got the cook like firing food into the crowd. You've got like <laughs> you've got all these great snippets from the last season. You've got Buppet wrestling. 
You've got like the announcers looking all cool. You just get all these great scenes flashing in front of you. And it's like, and here we are coming to you live from Vancouver, Washington. It's Rory Cemetery. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. Yeah, sorry, I'll turn that down. It's okay. It I is can fix so it. loud in here tonight for PWN Presents. <laughs> we are, that's PNW Live now? Okay, so. PWN Live, but yeah, sure. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be an incredible show tonight. We have the Golden One and the Cook starting off the night, defending their tag team championship against Family Values. Our second match is a spicy one between Vampirus and Death Blossom. Can they rekindle their heat? Or is this another grudge match? And finally, our main event tonight is Phoenix versus a mystery opponent. We'll find out later. And then we move. Wait, so Oh, go ahead. No, I'm saying, when suddenly... Oh. <laughs> to the locker room. Or behind the scenes. What is everybody doing right now? Fucking with the uh... overlay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the cook is... Actually, he arrives into the locker room. He's wearing a... <laughs> A Hawaiian, a, a, a Hawaiian shirt, uh, but unbuttoned, and just bearing his chest, and he's carrying um, a, uh, a a suitcase and has sunglasses on, and you can see there's still a little bit of like suntan lo of suntan lotion on his nose, and he's just going, ah, it's good to be back. I think Iconique is like right there at the lockers, and she's like, "How was your vacation?" It was great. Chat says Ty. Oh. I love Chad. Tell him I said hi. Definitely. That was a great getaway. What did and you then he's think? like, well, we uh, we we were on the beach in in Hawaii for for about two weeks. We also and went to the North Shore and got to see the turtles and had lots of pineapple and coconuts. That sounds amazing. This is interrupted by the sound of uh, of metal slamming against metal <laughs> over and over in a rhythmic fashion. <laughs> um, as the camera turns, it reveals that uh, uh, Phoenix has a baseball bat in her hands, like an aluminum bat that's dented all to hell, and she's just beating the shit out of one of the lockers. <laughs> just bam, bam, bam. Just over and over and over again. <laughs> Uh. <sighs> <sighs> Bam! Meet him in my microphone. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm gonna continue going and getting ready now, and Iconic will just like kind of skip back away. <laughs> uh, I think Death Blossom, uh, like. <laughs> The camera pans over to the bathroom quickly, um, and Death Blossom is there, like with her face down. So we see her hair kind of like tied back, coming out of the back of her mask because it's like the front face, so that she can actually have her hair loose and it's not like awkwardly shoved into the full head uh, thing, which I realized was like maybe a logistical issue from season one. Um, <laughs> Future of the mind. Right, exactly. It's convenience. She looks up. She's like splashed water on her face with the mask on. <laughs> Um, God, I miss that. And uh, she's looking at herself in the mirror, and there's like a, a Polaroid of Katrina Calavera with like the half skull makeup, um, taped to the, uh, the mirror, um, and she looks at herself, and she looks at the picture, and she pulls it off, um, and she looks down at it and goes past is buried it's time to move on and she rips it up and as she starts to rip it that's when she hears the bam bam bam, bam and she like bam, comes bam. out of the locker room and just like stands she in the doorway leaves the bathroom. And as she leaves the bathroom vampirus comes out of one of the stalls and goes 
and picks up. Are are you carrying the pieces with you, or did you drop? She them? tears it and just throws it. On oh, okay. The floor. Yeah. Vampiris comes out, gathers up all the pieces, and says, "That's for you, Faith." I like, <laughs> kind of like, whoosh, ha, like kind of whoops out of existence. And goth breezes yeah, away. Goth breezes away. <laughs> goth breezes away. <laughs> like that. Goth breezes. That's the best way to put it. Goth breezes away. <laughs> Like okay, a vampire's continue. fart. <laughs> and she leans against the door frame, like watching Bam. Phoenix just smash the locker. Finally <laughs> says, "You mad about something?" <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Death Blossom. Uh, I'm smashing the system. Bam! Bam! And knocks like the 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 door is like this, and she just like gets in there and pulls it out, and then just knocks it clean off the hinges. <sighs> Whew. All right, that'll teach the system. Well, you really showed it. Yeah. You I don't think know if can... this is what they meant when they said dismantle the institution. Oh, well, I literally, I literally put it, pulled it apart. Like I don't. I don't really see how that he okay see and now here's what you got to understand is like that guy and I point up at one of the um, uh, security cameras which is undoubtedly in our locker room just like this right, big obvious security camera <laughs> that guy thinks that he can give us nice lockers and like that's just gonna make us all super complacent and do whatever he wants and like follow his little rules or whatever but I'm like no screw you I'm gonna have a shitty locker how about that how about that? And like, I take out a pair of matches, or I said a matchbook, and like flick it and toss it into the uh, <laughs> into the locker, which just erupts into flame. Now it's on fire. Yeah, I'm sure. Shit, Alistair stuff's will really... in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Alistair will really feel that one. It'll really sting for a long time to come. <laughs> I think I just burned up my wallet. I gotta go make some phone calls now. For my identity. Excuse me. <laughs> it's good to see that not everything changes. <laughs> hot, 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 You're looking hot, good, hot. Cook. Thanks. I got a, a nice tan when we... Well, the Chad and I had a nice little retreat to Hawaii. It's good to get away for a bit. It is. It's really good. It's good to see you. How are you feeling, Death Blossom? <laughs> Alive. Oh. Well, that's definitely an, uh, a nice improvement. Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing how... And she's, like, flexing and, like tracing her costume which i think definitely got a budget update mm -hmm. so her like mm -hmm. arm straps look a little bit more like viney um she's got like a nicer material on her halter um the mask probably has like a little more embellishments maybe you feel like little rhinestones in the mm -hmm. in the flower pattern on her like skull flower skull uh mask um yeah i'm looking forward to seeing how being back on this side of uh things is uh gonna shake out I think I might have been left with a few lasting tricks after my time away. Well, it'll be good to see you in the ring. So, looking forward to your match today. Yeah, it'll be good to fight alongside you instead of against you. I wouldn't, I mean, I will say being buried alive was quite the experience. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. It's all right. I don't. I wasn't I don't myself. <laughs> Being it's buried right. alive was quite the experience. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, it gave you a fresh perspective on things. It did. It did. It made me appreciate life, which was why I asked the Chad to go on a retreat with me after the after the finale. It's beautiful. We needed some time. Well, now that about, you're uh, rested and refreshed, we can finally take Ron to task and 
have him. Yeah. Oh. I think at this moment, Diesel walks in, and she just puts her arms around both of you, and she goes, "Hey," which kind of looks like this. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because the I cookie is like this know. big and Katrina's like taller. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cook, married yet? I, I, uh, I haven't asked yet. Oh, sorry. That was supposed to be something, maybe a surprise. I haven't really, oh god, I have to think about things. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she goes, uh, good to see ya. <laughs> and and you see the cook run off and he's like, olive oil, we need <laughs> to start going through the catalog. <laughs> <laughs> and she kind of, she kind of leans down to you, Death Blossom, and goes, Ron, taking out Ron, I got your back. Death Blossom looks up at her, goes, yeah, you've, uh, been really burning uh, the candle at both ends lately, but I think now that I've got my head right, I think we're in a position to start making some changes. Ron's gotten a little too big for those sparkly sequin britches. I think now it's time we took him down a peg. Yeah. You know, even uh, <laughs> the golden one is what he's calling himself. Huh. Gold melts. Let's I think him. you're just the one to heat things up to that point. Let's see what we can do. And she'll step back. Uh, as she steps back, Death Blossom assesses her for a second and then throws her, her arm out to, like, shake. Oh, yeah. She'll do the... I think we do the, like... Yeah. Arm, the arm, arm clasp. The arm clasp <laughs> thing. Yeah. Uh, at this point, uh, Ron will walk in. Uh, and... I think that you'll get a stare from Diesel as you walk in, just like a... Uh, as he walks in, uh, Kimberly is at his side, uh, and she has a like platter that has all three of his championship belts on it, <laughs> uh, and she's holding them out in front like she's... Wait, like stacked on top or laid out? Laid out, like like laid out, like, yeah, laid like, out silver, next... like a little, like, like a little like... giant silver platter, like a legit yeah, yeah. silver platter, <laughs> like 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 a sandwich platter. Because like <laughs> I, I want to remind yeah. you of watching a championship yeah, yeah, belt is like the, it's like the, this tall. Big. They're enormous. Yeah. It, it is. It is a. It's it a is catering a platter. So she's platter. holding this thing like this. Yeah, like yep. this. She's so small. <laughs> she's very small. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like uh, three times the size of her body. This whole platter with the belts. Such a great image. I'm sorry. Please I continue. Uh, yes. <laughs> Who's seen the cook? The golden one is looking for him. <laughs> Death Blossom turns around and leans against a locker. What's it to you, golden boy? We have a match. He's my partner. Unless he didn't come back from his little getaway, but <laughs> smells like sex in here, so I think he's here. <laughs> Actually, pro it probably smells like my stuff on fire in here. But... <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the camera cuts over to like the burning locker, <laughs> and Diesel's just like, <laughs> "All right." Your uh, ebullient charm uh, still didn't uh, suffer having a, a little time away. Goldie. Yeah, he's around. And she gestures, like, back in the hole. Well, I guess I'll be seeing you around then. Yeah, you might. I'll tell you one place you won't see me, though, is in Alistair's pocket. Goldie. Uh, Ron will get up to uh, in, in Death Blossom's face, like right up next to her. Not in Alistair's pocket. 
Never was. Never will be. You the golden you can... one oh, takes go ahead. no favors from anyone. I take what is mine. You think you own this promotion? I am this promotion. Right. Mm. I can't be you. You're right. I can't. And she gets like real close to him, like <laughs> nose, nose to nose. Mm -hmm. I'm better. Then where's your gold? Meet me in the ring and I'll take it from you. I think uh, at that point, Phoenix kind of wanders back in uh, with a baseball bat <laughs> on her shoulder. <laughs> Just kind of muttering to herself. Ah, it... Oh, a hey, good point, Death Blossom. And then brings the bat down in the middle of the tray <laughs> into all three belts. Just bam. And really yelps. And like, oh! Yeah. She has, ah! And like, um, I think. Are we playing that... politics? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Or are we cutting promos? I, I, uh, the cameras are not off. The cameras are... No, the cameras are not off. It's weird, so, because the cameras being we, off or on for us... Yeah. yeah, they're kind of never off is the thing. So it's like, That's they're the off in the of sense that we're not... <laughs> yeah, we're not... Like, I guess a better way of interpreting that would be we're not in front of an audience. We're in front of the oh, imaginary true. Netflix yeah. audience. We're not in front of the mm -hmm. imaginary... I think you're cutting promos. TV I think audience? Two of you, yeah. I, think, I think all of you are cutting promos. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. Except maybe the cook. I don't know if the cook was cutting a promo at that moment. Uh, I mean, maybe for further episodes down the road. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll talk about it later. <laughs> uh, I got an eight, I'll and. Wait. As a result, uh, because I have the audience's attention, I'm going to choose to gain plus one heat against Ron. Nice. To build back our feud. Nice. I like it. Sorry, the golden one. The golden one. <laughs> Ugh. The golden one. Oof. No. No. Ron. Uh, did you want me to roll as well then? Or... Yeah, you. I mean, you oh, yeah. baseball batted his. Uh... I did. It was, felt good. It felt good. Uh, Shoot, that is roll plus luck. Which, as I recall, hers is terrible. It's terrible. And yeah, mine's still bad too. <laughs> yeah, I botched. Hell yeah! You get momentum now, though. You get the momentum now. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh yeah, that's true. Gain a momentum. I'm gain a momentum. Such a oh. nice adjustment. I like to the yeah. Yes. It's a yes. really I good like adjustment. That. Yes. Botches all all get momentum now. It's such yeah. a nice feel. On Except that dungeon botches, world shit. I love it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Hill forward, baby. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I just got to uh, mark that I have a hard move to make against you. Uh, in my defense, it's not a very good promo. I just hit a tray full of bells with a baseball bat, <laughs> which, while I appreciate that, probably not the most uh, exciting thing in the world. I got an 11. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to make creative book me in a match against Death Blossom. Okay. Uh, for for next week. Okay. Uh, the stipulation uh, is it's a non-title match. <laughs> <laughs> it's an exhibition match, right? Yeah, it's an exhibition. Yeah, uh, because she has not proven that she can beat me. Oh, you're the uh, worst. Right. Yeah. Not and at she's my the level. first. She, she hasn't even <laughs> been back in the ring yeah. as herself, <laughs> not as a zombie. Right. Uh, I, I think like after the the platter like so after the platter late. clatters to the ground, um, I just kind of like huff the bat back up on my shoulder with this giant shit-eating grin, and then kind of, like, turn very happily to Death Blossom, and it's like, you're right. You're the, uh, this, Ron, this, this golden guy here says he's, he's, uh, he's the, the promotion. That's what I should be smashing. See you in the ring, Ron. <laughs> Ron's gonna look at the camera and go, she doesn't know what smashing means. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is Diesel still in the room, actually? Yeah. yeah. Or she leave? I can't remember. No, Diesel's still in the room. I just, like, look her... She's not gone anywhere. Get your own gimmick, lady. I was here before you, lady. Wait, hang on. Now as a player, I have to ask, is that true? No. No, that's... 
You know, okay. Phoenix has like, been here for years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm the oldest yeah. person. Okay. Or, like, the iconic jobber. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. no one noticed her. No one noticed her. So, yeah. Dean was just being a butt. Okay. Just making sure. Yeah. Um, him first. You second. Or maybe you first, him second. I don't know. Whichever one of you. you okay. You work out between which one of you is the small fry. Come meet me in the ring. Take care of you first. And, like, I walk away, just, like, dragging the bat along the wall. <laughs> I, I have a match tonight. I'm gonna go look for my partner. <laughs> Get that cook. <sighs> uh, you see olive oil, like, like pushing a tray full of uh, cast iron pans that have all the, mer the, mer the cook's merchandise on top of it as well. And it's just sliding it across the hallway. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just um, getting the merchandise ready for tonight. That's not coming out to the ring with us. No, no, no. It's going to the merch shop. No. Oh. Where's your boss? Oh, he must be in this dressing room by now. He better be ready. I think he will be. He just got back from vacation. She's Everybody so matter of fact. Like... Everybody seems like they're in such great moods after a break. Well, he was also promoting his new book. <gasps> what book? And then pulls out a book, and it's the new sh uh, sh uh, cook's own chef cookbook. <laughs> it's a chef cookbook? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it literally says cookbook. Sh <laughs> yes, that is the title. <laughs> I'm gonna go get more water. I can't. I can't. Cook's own chef cookbook. God damn it! God damn it, Jackie! <laughs> oh wow! Uh, I actually been waiting for that for a few days. <laughs> I have my water, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> You gotta get those bills paid, honestly. I know. It's all You're not wrong. merch. I mean, I literally have a move that's called merchandising. <laughs> Did you become the luminary? Yeah. Yes! Yes! It's perfect! It's perfect! Uh, I so, love it. But, so I literally the went luminary. The luminary so... playbook because it's perfect for the cook. It's, it's yeah. literally all yeah. he does. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's why I picked it. I was like, oh, yeah, we're going to redo the cook as the luminary on the playtest materials. Yep. And the first thing I saw was merchandising. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a, de that's a default. <laughs> Gain plus one momentum when you first appear in an episode. So just for showing up. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm here. Just for showing up. <laughs> Holy shit. That's fantastic. <laughs> It's great. It's absolutely great. That is lovely. So, yeah, so Olive Oil is just like, uh, but if you want to, he's in his dressing room if you want to see him. Thank you. And I'll uh, go into the cook's dressing room. Uh, the co So the cook's dr actually has a full-fledged dressing room. So there's like a large vanity mirror with lights and everything. There's like, um, there's a chair that he's sitting in. Um, and it looks like he's actually has a, a stack of papers that he's reading through. Uh, his Hawaiian shirt has been taken off. It's hanging on a coat rack, which is next to the other coat rack that has his uh, chef's jacket there. And then you see like posters of the cook everywhere. And you see all the, the promotional posters for like his products, like the, the cast iron pans, the salad dressing, and uh, of course the new cook, the new chef's cookbook. Looks oh, and there's like also a mini a, fridge. <laughs> looks like you had a nice time. Oh, hey, yeah, I did. What have you been up to? Waiting to fight. Oh yeah, we still have we have that nice first match for the for the evening. Yeah, you forgot that we're tag team champions. Nope, I did not. And he puts down. And he's like. He's, and he pulls up another stack of papers, which is why I came prepared again. And you see a clear label that says, incriminating evidence against the governor. <laughs> uh, 
anything to retain our belts. That's true. Also, because I need to see this man go to for, pay for his crimes against humanity <laughs> and society. Indeed. Let's all find it well. I just want to keep the gold. Oh, uh, speaking of gold, uh, the the uh, one of the the uh, marketing uh, kids came in and gave me this for our tag team, and he pulls out like literally a a gold plated cast iron pan and plops it in front, and it has like the the uh, the logo for um, Ron and for the cook, like sub like built into it. This is magnificent. Yeah, it'd be great for the merch. Ew. <laughs> Yuck and no thank you. <laughs> we'll, need ew, to ew, keep, ew, ew, ew. we'll need to come up with a tag team name. Ron well, Steerling and the cook does not have a nice ring to it. No, it doesn't. And he pulls out another sheet of paper. He pulls out another stack of papers. Let's see. The marketing team was going over a few names. Uh, the Golden Skillet. The... Uh, uh, let's see here. We got the the Shining Fork. Uh, actually, that sounds more like a move. And um, we also have uh, the Gold Standard, uh, Michelin Star, and... <laughs> <laughs> Michelin Star. <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> Michelin Sp Star. Weirdly, sponsored by Firestone. It's weird. What? <laughs> I like that one. It's clever. It's oh, good because I actually because I still am trying to get my Michelin star one. <laughs> you. You. I can't believe I teamed with you. <laughs> I feel like that's a really good place for that scene to end. <laughs> 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 yep. <laughs> and we moved to the ring. Um, or, actually, no. oh, actually did you do the real quick, yeah. I did. Oh my god! Yeah, go uh, for that it. was amazing. Uh, where where is Family Values right now? Uh, they're um, I think they're right backstage, ready to make their entrance. Okay, because uh, I I think I might want to have a character make a, a have a brief scene with them. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So um, the governor and Vince King are uh, as always in their. Uh, you know, like tights with their family value shirts, which are just, you know, family values in red, white, and blue on a white t shirt. The most boring t shirts ever. <laughs> and then uh, with sport coats over it, standing there behind, just right backstage, right in the locker room, waiting to make their, their stand there, just like hyping up. The guy was uh. like, Okay, Vince, we gotta win today because we know might makes right. Might makes right. You know what's a little more mighty than being righty? A voice comes from off camera. <clears throat> and it swings over. And we see a woman uh, with clearly bleach blonde hair. Uh, down past her shoulders. Uh, she's wearing this really obnoxious, uh, like, pink leopard print fur coat. Uh, she's wearing gigantic heels, which is good, because she's actually a little on the shorter side. Um, and her, her glasses... Her glasses look more like sunglasses that are supposed to make you think they're extremely expensive. They're not... Uh, and she's she's got this like bright red lipstick on, and she just kind of smiles and says, "The Almighty Dollar, gentlemen." And she like kind of like clip clop clop walks towards them with her her heels clacking as she goes. If I could maybe propose a little business arrangement for the two of you. The governor kind of stands up and he says, "I'm listening." You see, um, now we all stand uh, to gain, or, or rather, if you go out and win, maybe you've got a title. It's, it's, it's nice and all, it's very shiny, it's gold, but what if instead of a title, all three of us 
made an obscene amount of money. How does that sound to your wonderful little desires for capitalist excess? Continuing to listen. I knew you boys would be pliable. I mean agreeable. Now, please allow me to introduce myself. I am the over-undertaker. I have arranged for a little um, agreement between myself and some financial parties where... Uh, looks left, looks right. If you take a dive in the ring, I'll cut you in on what I earn. Just lose. Let's face it, we all already know that's what you're good at anyway, so why not play to your strengths and make a lot of money doing it? Ah, huh? Gentlemen? The governor will stand up and go, Ah, you seem to think that morality is bought. It is, my dear. It, 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 she, like, pulls down her shades. Uh, she's got these bright green eyes behind, because green's the color of money. It's just, it is. You obviously don't know what family value stands for. Well, truth, justice, and the American way, which, as I re re just reminded you, is the almighty dollar. And the golden boy and the cook, and he spits on the ground when he after he says the cook, need to be taught a lesson. Ugh. <sighs> Fine, go. The, beat them up. Punch them. I'm not saying you have to learn, leave, learn, leave? Ugh, I can't even speak. I'm so excited by all this money. I'm not saying that you have to, you know, make it easy. Don't make it a squash match. Like, fight them or whatever. Punch them in the face. Hurt them. You could hurt them if you want. Just lose. Besides, wouldn't an injury be a bit more um, long-term than a silly little title belt? The family values don't lose. They win. Oh, and she like pushes her shades back up. That's a shame because I'm afraid you do lose and you just did. A golden opportunity, gentlemen. And she like click clacks away. A golden opportunity. Uh, as I, I want to add, I'm going to introduce my new character too. Oh, okay. So <clears throat> as the over undertaker um, heads further down, in, to the backstage uh you hear the sound of motorcycle of a motorcycle wheeling through from the from the under from the backstage tunnels and then reeling up <clears throat> and you see a uh helmet a purple helmeted uh figure with wearing all black uh leathers in a very tight you know um tight suit and gets off and you hear in a semi-robotic voice that they take the deal of course not, because everyone here is an idiot who doesn't like making money. And then you, uh, they reply, losers. Yes, well, that's why there's always a plan B, darling. That's why there's always a plan B. What is this voice? Hmm. <laughs> we, as long as our agreement is, is maintained, you pay, I stir trouble. Yes, 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 yes. And she um, uh, reaches, uh, yeah, she reaches into her coat and into her bra and pulls out a comically large wad of cash and just, like, holds it out like this, just like, ugh. And just gently caresses the cash, tugs it into uh, the leather jacket pocket inside, and straightens up again. I'll be expecting you to do as we agreed. There's oh. money on the line. Oh, yes. There's a lot on the line. Money is one of them, but there's others. I have the faintest idea what that means. I only care about money. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye. Go. We haven't associated. Shoo. Shoo. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> and uh, the figure will get back, will get off, and you just, and as soon as you hear the, the motorcycle room, you see the neon lights come up and it says, After Dark and just zooms off. Nice. I like it. All right, cool. Then we're going to move to the ring. Mm -hmm. 
at the announce table is I have my stuff up. Um Get Ramiro that stuff up. and Benny. Good evening, wrestling fans, and welcome to another beautiful sunny day in Vancouver, Washington. It's time once again for PWN Presents Slaughter. We're ready, uh, or PWN Live, we've been rebranded. Uh, once again, our, our, our uh, fantastic lineup of wrestlers is ready to get into the ring and bring the heat and the incredible pain and suffering uh, of vengeance and justice upon each other. Um, we are uh, here once again with my wonderful associate, Benny Templeton, here ready to watch uh, the newly formed tag team of the Michelin star against Family Values. Uh, we'll see if this uh, combination of gold-plated cutlery is able to slice through the American pie that is Family Values. What do you think, Benny? I absolutely... I, I hear music. There we go. I absolutely <laughs> could not... I gotta find his voice. Otherwise, he just turns into a certain politician. <clears throat> That's absolutely right, Ramiro Rioso, my good friend. It is fantastic to be back in front of this table, behind this table, in front of this microphone. I'll get the order eventually. My doctor says I'm going a little senile, so I punched him in the kidneys, but that is not what we are here to talk about. We are here to talk about, yes, the Michelin star, D the, the most... Truly a rising star in the ring, Ron Steerling on one side, holding not one, not two, three titles, all claimed through his own blood, sweat, and tears in the ring. Standing next to The Cook, quite possibly the biggest ego ever this side of uh, Mr. Ego, who you know, sadly passed away this last week. God rest his soul. Family Values, however, we know has had a little bit of legal trouble the last time we saw them uh, at, at uh, PWN Age. Uh, they, uh, they they were chased out of the ring, uh, I believe, by some uh, officers of the law, some some fine uh, gentlemen in blue uh, with badges and nightsticks that did not care for what they were up to. We will see if that plagues them tonight in the arena. That's right. We There's uh, certainly a non-zero chance that uh, the both the governor and and Vince King um, have a few uh, uh, actions in their past um, and, and decisions um, that they've made that are going to catch up with them. Um, most likely, uh, the decision to piss off uh, the Golden One, Ron Steerling, uh, and the Cook. Um, they Never will wise. be bringing their particular brand of justice uh, forward uh, to to smash these two uh, into the ring. Whereas uh, uh, both both members of Family Values uh, will be doing their best to uh, assert that truth, justice, and the American way uh, will be uh, the ones that reign supreme. We'll see when these two titans of the industry uh, step in in just a few moments. Absolutely. I could not have said it better myself. Where the hell are they? Let's get this match started. I want to see it. I want to see it. But we're not going to see it. We're going to wait here a minute. Oh, wait. I hear music. I'm sorry. It takes a second for it to load. And there they are, uh, warming up the crowd with their particular brand of Americana. It's uh, the, the, the two uh, figureheads of power uh, representing the establishment and the authority of the United States of America. Vince King and the governor walking into the arena now oh, with no. their iconic They're red, white, and black. They're still on their segues. They have uh, kept the segways. Segwaying into the uh, into the arena. Uh, what the hell is this? The Jetsons? What are they doing? Blue T-shirts. <laughs> you can't have vehicles in here. Get out! No. What? They're gonna get pulled over and arrested for trying to drive vehicles around inside of a building. I have points on my license because of shit like this. Well, it's a good thing that uh, Vince King no longer has a signature martini because I can certainly see uh, him being pulled over for a DUI. But um, there, there they go, uh, uh, arriving to the adulation of uh, some you're, members. Like, of the doing crowd. their like, you know, waves, you know, their waves <laughs> that you do for like, <laughs> like politicians. The presidential, waves. the politi the politician right? waves. Where it's there's just, a like, baby, just... there's a baby, <laughs> like in the front crowd that you can tell is totally a plant. That like the governor will like get down, shake the mom's hand, and kiss the baby. Oh, that cannot be sanitary. <laughs> and, like it's just like waves, waves, waves. They make it to the ring. They step into the ring. 
You know, Benny, I always thought that you were supposed to shake the hands, uh, uh, shake the babies and kiss the hands. Uh, that will absolutely result in a dead baby, Ramiro, Ramiro. I need to get Dr. Spock. He's gotten some incredible books. Well, I'm going to put them in front of you. You know, I'm always interested in expanding my library, so I appreciate that once again. Um, but there they are, taking in uh, the crowd. As they uh, stand in the middle of the ring, they go... <laughs> the governor gets the mic, and he's like, We're back! And nobody cares. Because we didn't do anything <laughs> wrong! I just hear Vince from the... Yeah, that's right! <laughs> like a little, a little that's right! We didn't do anything wrong! We were found not guilty! The case was thrown out! We're fine! Nothing's happened we're here, and we're here to show you that the right always comes out on top. You can't pin us down for anything because there's nothing to pin us down for. That's how it goes in this world. We who are righteous will never be defeated. You know, we should really talk about the, you know, the criminal justice system in this country. It's very, very corrupt. It's very corrupt. <laughs> That's right, and it certainly seems to be uh, supporting the these two and uh, giants. But, uh, I but music. here comes the opposition uh, stepping into the ring now. Uh, the cook, uh, fresh off of his uh, vacation, looking fantastic with those mm. uh, sun sun uh, tanned abs, um, and the, the, the still the trademark smear of, of suntan lotion on his nose. Uh, looks like he's really enjoyed his vacation and is ready to to rock here in the ring. Absolutely, not my type, but I get it. Yep, uh, so the cook's gonna come in. He has his chef's jacket over his shoulders. He's come and he has his signature uh, uh, black shorts with the crisscross frying pans. And then uh, also the uh, the black boots with the uh, fork and spoon. And uh, you see also olive oil is coming out and uh, seems to be handing out in carts, uh, cop signed copies of the new cookbook <laughs> to the fr to the front row of the audience. There it is, the cook's own uh, chef's cookbook. Fantastic, now in hardcover, available at fine bookstores everywhere. Visit your local Barnes and Noble or Walden Books to pick up a copy. Uh, it looks incredible. The price point is reasonable. The recipes are incredibly accessible. You can make everything with what's lying around in your house. It's it's unbelievable the kind of quality that the cook is always putting out here. And there's olive oil handing them out to the people. Um, just if you're fortunate enough to pick up a copy, be sure to tell all your friends. Uh, the cook bringing in uh, his signature uh, chef's coat into the ring to show everyone that he knows both how to wrestle and his way around the kitchen just a beautiful slice of beef on that 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 man it's a page turner i just want to comment though when you said walden books my heart just just quaked <laughs> yeah, I'm, like, huh. oh. I'm here to control f the nostalgia i love yeah. it it's, so good. You know, it's in the mall right next to the electronics boutique oh. yeah and the same goodie. <laughs> Sun Coast Where you video. can buy the Cook's theme oh. song. On. <laughs> do you want to do your your uh, voice over since you didn't first before? Uh, no, no, go for okay. it. Just... And there it is, the signature stings of the first few moments of uh, the Golden One, as he's now calling himself, his intro music. Uh, formerly known as the Prince of Fab. You know him, you love him. And you can't uh, you be him. You love to hate him. <laughs> you can't be him, that's right, Benny. Here he comes, Ron Steerling, the Golden One, entering the arena. He's got nothing to say for himself. You have a new and he doesn't need to. Is it the same? Uh, so, uh, Ron uh, comes out... Uh, Strutting. He's wearing uh, different gear. Uh, right now, his pants are gold with black lettering down the side. Uh, it's a sterling. Uh, uh, he's got big uh, sunglasses on, uh, and he's got two belts uh, over his shoulders and one uh, around his waist. Um, and he just struts down to the ring like he's hot shit. Uh, about halfway, he'll take the sunglasses off in like a slow motion and toss them into the crowd. Uh, and he, of course, is wearing a You Can't Be Me t-shirt. Uh, and as he gets in the ring, he'll take that off and throw that into the crowd as well. What color is it? 
Uh, it is, uh, it's gonna be pink. Nice, okay. Um, and once uh, everyone's uh, in the ring, uh, there's now a ring announcer uh, who stands up in the ring. He's wearing uh, a full suit with a, a long purple tie. Um, and he's got uh, a microphone in his hand. His microphone looks a little bit nicer than maybe the ones the wrestlers frequently have. Um, he goes... Our next match is scheduled for one fall and is for the PWN Tag Team Championship. Introducing first, the challengers. At a combined weight of 455 pounds, the team of the governor and Vince King. Family values. And the champions. First, weighing in at 250 pounds, and hailing from Daytona Beach, Florida, he is one half of the tag team champions, The Cook. And his partner, weighing in at 220 pounds, hailing from the Golden Isles, he is the PWN AAA Mega Champion, the PWN BNW Champion, and one half of the tag team champions, the Prince of Fab, the Golden One, Ron Steely! Ron! 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 Yeah. You can't be me! You can't, you can't be, be me! You can't be me! <laughs> me! And then the ref holds up the titles and then hands them to the person outside the ring and... Oh, is that super fan kid still there? <laughs> what is the super fan kid? I don't remember what super fan the, kid The was. kid that was like super into Ron. Oh, yeah! Totally. <laughs> Yeah. He's like yeah. in the front row. Yeah. Yeah. But... Always. I'll bet always Alistair there. gave him like season tickets. Oh, totally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they're off. There's the bell. Let's see how these two uh, these two teams uh, are able to, to, to settle their differences uh, like, like real men do with incredible violence. <laughs> That's what the people paid to see. That's what I wake up every day hoping to see. Uh, the governor will be the first man in for family values. Ron, you will start with control of the match. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Ron uh, will uh, kind of engage. Uh, you said it was uh, Vince King? Uh, the governor. The governor. Uh, we'll invent, uh, we'll uh, lock arms uh, with the governor. Uh, and uh, we'll just try and get him into a, a grapple, kind of a, a test of okay. strength situation. Uh, so I'm going to roll plus body. Okay. Ron and the governor stepping into the ring, and Ooh, Ron shit. goes for the grapple. Uh, I rolled the 12 plus whatever my thing is. Yeah. Uh, plus your body. You my body's a zero, <laughs> so I got a 12. The 12 uh, plus, yeah. who cares? Yeah, yeah exactly, right? You retain control of the match, and Gase, and the, the crowd goes wild. They're super excited. They're like, Ron, you can't be him! So I lock with the governor, and pretty easily I just throw him down to the mat. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and I will uh, take the momentum, uh, so I get the plus one momentum, uh, and then I'm going to walk over, I'm just going to tag the cook in. Not a hot okay. tag, but just like a, an actual and, tag. Okay. Yeah. Very generous. Okay. Ron, uh, not usually, you know, one to give up the spotlight, immediately goes for the tag on the cook. Yep. And uh, he was, he gets in. Oliver hands him like a, a, a thick, monstrously thick wad of paper, which the cook then rolls up. And then uh, as the governor is rising back up, he's going to whack him. And you can see it's clearly labeled where it says, uh, legal action against the governor. <laughs> Uh, so we're gonna do hits him with a subpoena yeah I hit him with a subpoena and he he walks over as he's getting him it's like you sir are about to be served (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so I think we're gonna go with let's go with uh, heat I think that works better so I think what's the heat with I think the heat with me and the governor is like what at a I think it was at a three last time I think so so, yeah, yeah I have yeah. 
Oh yeah, I have, I have, I have to look me. at the old sheet. I had to look at the old sheet. That's why. Um, so I roll the ten combined. <laughs> okay. So so I also gain one momentum. I'm also going to spend two of the momentum I had before, and I'm going to do my. Um, is he a baby face? Uh, the governor. No. He the, he and can't Vince are heels. I believe they're heels. They're heels? Okay, yeah. I just want to make sure. Okay, it's because mm -hmm. I have the tweener ability from oh, the okay. technician. So I get to use the opposite uh, uh, roll, uh, roll move for them. So I am going to use my face move then. I'm going to spend two momentum, and I'm basically going to leave my opponent speechless. With um, as as he as I whack, as I smack him with a subpoena, and and then I lean down and say to him, "We have evidence against you, Governor. We have it all recorded." Do the right thing. <laughs> Serious threats in the ring here. That's right. Uh, the cook is uh, serving the governor uh, 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 back uh, some uh, uh, his his previous past uh, uh, a f unfortunate uh, decision making uh, while in office and abuse of power uh, is coming back in a big way right now as he serves him uh, a, a heavy dose of justice with the with the, the subpoena to the face. How will the governor possibly recover from uh, a, the, the, the cook bringing to bear uh, his legal might? He's got bears? <laughs> Not yet, but I, I think I hear something rattling around in the back. Um, I think that's when um, I think the governor is going to get up and like, like uh, uh, smack uh, the cook's hand off of the subpoena and then just go in for a quick grapple and then toss and then quickly just toss him straight to the ground as fast as he can and he'll, he's going to switch out um, with Vince and Vince is just going to just bolt right in and just as right while the cook is getting back up just start um, uh, kicking him on the side and we're trying to sell for the fact that Vince is very much uh, uh, eager to please Oh, okay. eager to please the governor and so I think that will be work for yep. the both of us. So, okay. So, and that's with bot. That's with work. Okay. So I roll the seven. Um, you keep their attention. Choose whether to hand control over to the match to the opponent, or take and take one momentum, or you take, regain or retain control. I'm just going to. Um, uh, I think what I'm going to do is, I'm going to give control to Vince. Okay. Or to the, and then yeah. uh, and then I will take the one momentum. Yeah, so that all happens. Uh, the governor manages to make the corner, tags in Vince. Vince runs in, just starts kicking your side, uh, and starts trying to push you over to the corner where the governor is, um, and will uh, work to uh, get you over to that corner and pushes you over into that direction, um, and then will. Uh, Get over there. We'll tag in the um, uh, the governor, and the governor will come in, and they will both. Uh, Vince will get up, uh, push you up onto the uh, apron, uh, and then will Vince will get up on top and do a. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called. Um, a get you up there and do a. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember. A uh, power bomb off the top rope, and the um, the governor will come down with an elbow right to your chest, and will mm. go in for the pin. Um, and I'm gonna hand control back to you. Okay, um, I think you're gonna get that like one tap before the cook just breaks off, and and then basically just they both look, separate for a quick minute and. Uh, the cook just looks at him again and it's like, the people need to know what you did. There comes the governor with the power bomb off the top rope, goes for the pin, this and it, oh, no, the cook breaks free. Uh, is his, is Michelin star's goose cooked? No, no, he's getting back up and he's, he's defying, he's defying this, uh, th th his, his attempt. Uh, he's still in this. Hell of a thing. Wish I could wish you an ultimatum after taking a power bomb. Ooh. 
Um, so at that point, uh, the cook is going to, since he's at by the rope, he's going to lean into the rope a little bit and then basically push forward and um, and just tackle uh, the governor uh, in the in the chest and then try to go in for a quick pin. And we're going to okay. go for, we're probably going to go for body for this one. Okay. Since uh, it sounds like that seems to be the, the way you go. Um, and I have a minus two, so this should be fun. Mm. Oh god. <laughs> I definitely botched. <laughs> uh, as you go in, uh, he will, uh, as you go in, he'll grab you around the neck and like kind of throw you around and put you into a swinging, like kind of swinging neck, neck breaker and uh, kind of just like fling you to the other side. Uh, but you are close to your uh, to your corner, and you manage to tag Ron in. Um, Ron comes in flying, mm -hmm. um, and the governor does put in a shoulder block, just kind of checks Ron back, but mm -hmm. doesn't manage to quite get in the momentum and kind of stumbles forward and hands and that hands control back to Ron. Okay, so like Ron like gets bumped and kind of pushes him to the side. Uh, and moves towards the opposite corner uh, to where uh, Vince is uh, and hits him with a super kick while he's standing on the apron. Nice, so I he love flies, it. He falls off the side. Uh, and then from there, we'll run and do a clothesline on the governor. Okay, great. Run back in the ring with a hell of a super kick, reestablishing dominance here. That's a sterling signature right there. Uh, so I got an eight. Uh, so I will, uh, retain control of the match, uh, from here. I think right here is a good time to tell you your book to win. Okay. Uh, so, uh, with, uh, Vince on the, the, the outside of the ring, like, subdued for the moment, uh, Ron is going to, uh, stand uh pull, pull up the governor uh and is gonna look him in the face uh as he's kind of like a little bit woozy uh is going to take a set of handcuffs and is going to handcuff him to uh the cook uh is going to hit him with a super kick so that he falls to the ground uh is going to tag the cook in so that he's the legal man and just toss the cook on top of him <laughs> That's that is, okay. And so two rest. things. That is a very confusing use of a foreign object. And why the hell does he have handcuffs? And the ref. One, two, three. I can get to the bell ring. I can. And there's the bell. What a shocking turn of events as Ron comes in. The golden, uh, the golden one executes an incredible super kick. Uh, the the governor unable to to recover from it in time mm. with a second one colliding just in time to set up the cook as he gets cuffed and hurled on top, uh, thus effectively ending uh, this this entire match um, with just a, a, a the most unconventional use of a pin that I've ever seen. Um, the signature just goes to show that, that the Golden One will do anything to achieve supremacy, uh, and the cook is more than happy to go along with it. Things make their own kind of sense around here at PWN. And that's the kind of uh, incredible uh, uh, wrestling that defies expectations that you can only find on PWN. And then the cook's music plays because I don't have music for the both of you. Yeah, so. that's fine. Uh, so, and then the cook's gonna shout out, it's like, all right, we're gonna make the citizens arrest now. <laughs> As you just drag him off by the handcuff. Yep. <laughs> yep, by handcuff and also like kind of like having his arm tucked behind him in a way where he can't obviously move and just like pushing him down. Wait, did I there miss you it? Have did, it? Did we do the finishing move roll? Did I just miss it? Oh no, I don't think we did. Uh, well, Ron can, I guess, should, I guess Ron can do it. Yeah. Yeah, Ron's I, doing I only mention it because sometimes you get stuff for rolling well on your finishing move. Uh, yeah. Is it just a roll plus? Uh, it's, it's a just flat a roll. Yeah. It's a flat roll unless you've got a move that lets you do stuff with it. Uh, I got a seven. Oh, uh, yeah. You're the ace. Yeah. You need to hit your finisher twice. Choose one. It makes you both look strong and gain plus one heat with each other. Or they almost had you. They gain plus one audience. 
I think the first one actually you sort of yeah. set up actually it was like yeah. and mm -hmm. you did hit it twice totally. because you hit the super kick and then you hit the the super kick is one of your the finishers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that works. So you cool. both get heat. Yeah, nice. Heat Perfect. it up. Okay. Alright, I like it. I All right. like it. And you uh as the cook leaves as you both leave victorious, I think this is a good time for us to go to a short break. Okay. Uh, a heads up to everybody. Uh, we have a giveaway today. We have two copies of the first edition Worldwide Wrestling RPG. Mm. If you want to play on your own for funsies of the original book and NGD. International Incident. International, you do. It's fun. International Incident. Um, I'm going to open that giveaway now. Uh, use the code uh, Brassel. Amy's going to put that in the... Uh... I can't open the giveaway. I know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> it should be started. Uh, yeah, use code uh, Rassel to uh, put yourself in for that giveaway. Uh, we're going to leave that open for 10 minutes, and we will be back right after this break. We'll see you on the flip side. Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, you have seconds left to enter the giveaway. You could win this awesome game. Who wouldn't want to play it? You Turn need to down. put in Rassel, code Rassel, exclamation point Rassel to win. Get that in because I'm about to choose the winner. So get it go right now. Get it go. Eight seconds. Get I don't, it. I don't talk. I don't talk for a living. It's Thing or happen. Do. Make his yes. Get, get, get that in. Uh, you now have 10 seconds. I'm Type just four begin. Down. Nine. <laughs> eight. There's, there's also a stream delay, so. Seven. By the time you hear this. Whatever. Ground control to Major Tom. Down. I'm really bad at the counting of downs. I don't know. Nine. I'll just say. I'm going to close the game. I can get Belmo if you're having trouble counting. <laughs> <laughs> I would like people. to pour a murder. <laughs> we have two copies. Two copies to give away. And we have two winners. You are names are in chat. Congratulations. You each get a copy. Fire Truths will get with you to get you those copies. Enjoy. Enjoy. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you for joining us on our opening weekend of All Nerds Here. Woo! Thank you for opening. Woo! Wow. <laughs> wow. Thank you for opening. Because I know how to count. <laughs> I stopped counting because there was a fucking delay and it wasn't po pointless, okay? Because I Downtown! <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Uh, I'm just saying. I hate you sometimes. I'm gonna get my throat slit. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Death Blossom, where would you be right now getting ready for your match with Vampirus? We have spaces available to you. Would you like to know what they are? We also yeah, still have the crowd it's... noise going, by the way. I turned it off. Oh, no, I didn't turn it off. Ha, you did not. You I did not. <laughs> there, right. There, I turned it there off. There we go. All right. We have, uh... Yeah, let's let's refresh what, what locations are available for the benefit of the audience. Yes, also for the benefit of everyone. Uh, we have the ring, mm. of course. We have... The locker room. Boom. We have the offices of PWN. Uh, boom. We have uh, Alistair's control room, though I assume you're not there. But no. that's what we do have that. <laughs> we have a parking lot, the uh, underground parking garage. Ha. We have um, a hallway, nondescript uh, hallway, could huh? be whatever. We have um, a bathroom. Ah. I feel like I'm missing something. Uh, ring, locker room, bathroom, office, hallway, weight room. Weight room. We have a weight room. Oh, we have a weight room now. Yeah. We and we have room. a darkened version of the ring. Yes. Boom. Yeah. Right. That's what we have. Oi. Good. Budget! <laughs> yeah, we got budget! <laughs> we got an upgrade. We, we have to do a match out in the parking lot at some point. Totally. Oh. 
We will. Believe um, me. Yeah. I uh, I think Death Blossom is probably in the weight room. Okay. Um, you know, what do you do before you have to do extreme physical activity? You work out. Work your Drain. body to its edges. Yeah. <laughs> right? Drain your st uh, stamina fatigue. Um, I think um, she's uh, working on the um, shoulder press machine. So, like, she's... Uh, doing um the one where you're, you're facing sort of outwards and you pull the weights towards you so she's like working on her shoulders the butterfly um right exactly um and she's like really determined on what she's doing and every time the weights come close uh we get like a flash of a moment from the past so she's like <clears throat> Bam! And then it cuts to her and Vampirus like having dinner, and then <clears throat> she releases the weight. Bam! Uh, she's uh, on the bus with Vampirus, and like this is the first time that we've seen them together. I think in that moment, and they're like holding each other's hands and like leaning against each other, and then the bus, bam! The fireball, and her one like zombified hand reaching out through the glass. As she starts to climb her way out, she releases the weight. Bam! Uh, she is, as Katrina, unmasked, uh, like, wrestling with Ron and, like, really intense with her, like, half-skull makeup. Um, just, like, slamming into each of the different people that she sort of, like, ripped through to get to where she was. Um, releases, and then, bam! And the last thing is her... Uh, helping in her own exorcism where like her spirit version version is uh about to slam uh her zombified self into the coffin um and then looking back up at ron like on the k on the top of the cage <laughs> hanging over the arena um and she releases and she's just like left in covered in sweat and like panting uh her hands on her knees like just leaned over like Ugh. She finally raises back and stands up and grabs a towel and just like starts furiously wiping everything away from her. Yeah, screw it, I'll come in. You hear a woman's voice, uh, again, off camera, just. Oh, I love it. You know. That seems like an awful, awful lot of hard work. There's got to be an easier way. And sitting, uh, like, cross-legged, like, with her hand on her chin like this, uh, is the over-undertaker on one of those, um, it's, uh, it's like a, uh, free weights bench. Uh, the, yeah, I, my brain is totally blanking out, but the kind that you, like, lay back on and you lift upward, you usually mm -hmm. got a spotter. She's just, like, sitting on one of those benches. Uh, looking over at Death Blossom as she tells herself off. Like so much Cheshire Cat. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's gotta be a better way to make a living than that. Pulls the towel back. What are you selling? An opportunity. You've got a match with Vampirus tonight. I know, I know. There's all kinds of wonderful little history between the two of you, which is excellent because it means the match is very contentious. Now... What if instead we uh, fix the match? You're asking me to cheat? I'm asking you to take advantage of an excellent opportunity. You see, I have recently uh, come into a lot of money. And the great thing about money is that it just keeps making more of itself. But you have to use it right in order to do that. So what if I sent a little money your way? So that down the road, a little money gets sent my way. And all you have to do is lay down underneath that beautiful woman you're going to be beating the crap out of later. I kind of feel like you've got a lot of practice doing that. Death Blossom goes, like, right up to the over-undertaker. Um, and, like, looms. <laughs> you better watch what you say right now. You come in here, you start throwing money around, telling people what's what, without ever earning. 
your position. It's awfully presumptive of you. <laughs> and uh, the over undertaker kind of like, she's still sitting down, but she kind of like leans upward and says, you really think people can't be bought? You want to bet on that? <laughs> but I know when I'm not wanted. All right. Have it your way. I'm sure someone else is more willing to listen. She's like sachets for the exit. Ta. She calls back. Um, Katrina would have taken you up on it. I buried her. Well. You can't buy my soul that easy. Wouldn't be the first time the dead came back around here, now would it? She lets you walk off. <laughs> yeah. I think then we move to the parking lot. Parking lot. Uh, yeah. The underground parking garage. And the camera pans up and above and looks down and it goes into this back corner and below and you see this small dark room and it's just vampirus in this small dark room and it is a whole wall covered in pictures of Katrina. Oh. Oh. And it's just pictures of Katrina and she's just looking at it going hmm And she just looks up at it and she says, I will bring you back. And it just cuts there. And then we move to Ron. I'm assuming in the weight room, because that's why Ron normally does these commercial spots. Mm -hmm. With a Jemison's meat stick. Sometimes people ask me what it takes to become the golden one. You can't. You can't be me. No one can be me. But you can be like me. And to do that, you need to eat some meat. Jemison's meat. It's what I eat. It's what you should eat too. So good. And then we went back to the ring. <laughs> and I think I had Rory and Johnny at that end table. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Rory fact. Cemetery here, ringside, next to my old friend and monotone companion, Johnny Wong. Tonight we are what? bringing you a exciting match between Vampirus and Death Blossom. Now, Death Blossom. It's back, but a little bit different. She has expelled some demons from her and gained some hearty muscle. Uh, what do you think of this matchup, Johnny? I think it is going to be terrifying. Always quick with your uh, rec you know, your observations of what's to come ahead of us here. Uh, I think that the sparks will fly as Vampirus is eager to uh, win back the heart of her former companion. Uh, she seems obsessed from that earlier vignette. Uh, we will see how that plays out in the ring. And you just see Johnny pull out like a lantern, a, a, a security blanket, a teddy bear. <laughs> uh, and then the ring announcer uh, steps up. Our next match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 185 pounds, hailing from the unknown, Vampirus. And because we have a bit bigger of a budget, you just get this big billowing smoke cloud and then a spotlight and Vampirus is just standing there like this. Remember, she's that like very long, thin, long, dark hair that half black lace mask, um, bright red lip, the long nails, the stiletto heels, and she just walks down 
with her arms outstretched, kind of flapping as she goes in this regal. And she just looks at everyone, opens her mouth, smiles a little bit, and there's fangs. Vampirus is always looking fire. <laughs> she just moves into the ring and just stands in the middle of the ring with her arms out. Indeed, a stunning spectacle of terror and and fighting with capabilities. And now introducing, weighing in at 251 pounds, hailing from Boyles Height, California. I don't think it's 251. Oh, is that a mistake? Yeah, that's my mistake, my bad. Uh, weighing in at the correct weight, from <laughs> Boyles Height, California. 160 pounds. I think it's, uh, sorry, that, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Death Blossom! <laughs> oh, she got big. She got I'll, big. I will fix that. <laughs> she got really my monster good. grow! <laughs> Sorry, that was a mistyping. That's good. Um, yeah, on the other edge of the uh, the arena, um, where the stage is, uh, a trap door has uh, opened up, and uh, green smoke has come out of it. Um, the gravestones uh from party city are still there um overgrown with vines with roses coming out of them um with a hot house death house hot house flowers uh sign next to them uh rising from the trap door is death blossom just looking straight up at the air and she basks in the moment in the uh smoke as she's sort of like backlit from behind um after a moment, she strides forward into the arena. She is wearing her black, pink, and green color scheme outfit. So she's got the mask that covers her face with leaving her mouth exposed with a skull and flower motif. Rhinestone studding into it now because she's got some upgrades. Her hair tied back in a ponytail with a pink streak in it. Um, her halter top is actually covered because she's wearing a tight-fitting black t-shirt. Her merch um, which has uh, uh, sugar skulls over it um, with flowers coming out of them. Um, and in a sort of jagged script, it says, I'm not like other girls, um, her tall wrestling boots. Uh, and she strides into the ring uh, just with her arms outstretched, just like looking at everyone, like a sort of, are you not entertained? And finally pulls herself up into the ring. And it seems that Death Blossom has blossomed once again, and Spring has come back to PWL. <laughs> Have you seen your merch shirt, Johnny? <laughs> that merchandise is amazing. <laughs> it is. Please make sure to check out the PWN merch shop by going on AOL Online and typing the keyword PWN. That's awesome. You have control to start the match. Oh my God. <laughs> Just yeah. uh, at the top of the bell, uh, she snags the mic from the announcer. Oh, okay. Um, and go uh, just climbs up onto the uh, turnbuckle on the ropes, um, and looks around at everyone and says, "I know the last time you all saw me, I was a little different. I've been dead for a long time, but I beat death." Because I'm Death Blossom, and I always come back. You can cut the flowers, but you can't stop them from coming back again. I'm going to show all of you I'm here to prove I won't die. I won't let you down. I've learned something on the other side. I've learned about justice. I've put aside the darkness inside and I make a commitment to all of you now I'll harness that to break those who hide in the shadows and she hucks the mic over her head 
I, f- I, like I, I feel like I'm cutting a promo or working the audience. I feel like audience. you really are cutting a promo. Or, yeah, I feel like it's. I feel like I'm working the audience. You're you're audience. working the audience so, for yeah, that's sure. Fair, that's fair. Like yeah, yeah. you're you're, right. you're trying to pump up the crowd. Yeah. Get them yeah. cheering for like, you. I'm so cool. Check me out. All right, so my audience is currently at plus three because I took an advance to bring it up because nice. I normally start at two. Uh, so I've got a seven plus two. That's a nine. Uh, you gain one momentum. All right, they're into it more or less. <laughs> On uh, so remember that you can always. I don't know if you have any momentum. I do you have momentum? Actually, I will spend one to get it back. Okay, because you'll you'll pop big. You can spend momentum. You'll gain a heat with your current or upcoming opponent. And you'll get and yeah, yeah. Uh, I want them to pop. I'm already at plus four heat with. Okay, so you'll you'll can spend it and you'll gain one momentum. So the audience yeah. goes wild. They're super excited to see Death Blossom back. They're like, Death Blossom, we missed you. Yeah, that's what. I There's wanted. this one person in the audience who is decked out in full on Death Blossom gear, wearing <laughs> merch, and is in Death Blossom cosplay. Oh my god. So like she's in like full on Death Blossom cosplay, has a mask and everything that she's made herself. So that's it's like amazing. made out of duct tape. But it looks awesome. She just looks down and like points at that person, yeah. and like the thumbs up. Uh, and then she opens it up uh, by executing some signature high flying maneuvers. I love it. Um, I think so. Vampirus is like in the center of the ring, mm-hmm. um, probably like scoffing at this whole like showboating moment. And like a sneer, and you can see like one fang with the sneer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she looks at uh, everyone uh, in, around the ring, and she goes, "Let's kick it off, shall we?" And she goes for a missile drop kick. Oh, I love it! Leaping off the top rope. <sighs> Oof. Uh, which I believe is work. Yeah, I would think for a for a luchador, yeah. Yeah, she just dives in and like wants to just knock Vampirus back. Um, so I've got an eight, and my work is plus three, which brings me up to an eleven. Eleven. So you take that one momentum and retain control of the match. Then. Fantastic. So she knocks Vampirus backwards, um, and uh, once she lands, she like gets everyone hyped up again, and then uh, I think showcases a little bit of her former style of like the brawling. So mm-hmm. she goes for like elbow jab jab to push Vampirus up against the ropes. Um, I think Vampirus is like, I know your tricks. So when she goes for that last like slam, because she's got like a one, one, two, three combo, she catches it, yeah, mm-hmm. um, and goes for um, a shoulder, uh, throws her hand around her neck, mm-hmm. and does like a, a, I think it's a Frankensteiner actually. Where you yeah. like pick her up and then just mm-hmm. like drops her back. Yep. Bam, um, slamming Death Blossom into the ground. Um, as she's there, though, Death Blossom swirls around, uh, like rolls off of her, and rolls on top to try and pin her, like just sitting on the front on on top of Vampires, um, and like yells out, like, "Where's the Over Undertaker? This is what you wanted to see, huh?" <laughs> she just tries to pin. Where okay. indeed? That feels like a call out. I don't know, but I don't think you can call out. I'm I can't call out other people. Dang I it. Um, that feels like a. That could be a. That could be a heat or work, whichever you prefer. I think it's heat. Yeah. Because we're like. Yeah. I it feels like, like you're working together. together. Yeah. 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 Work with your opponent to showcase an innovative yeah. or exciting maneuver, that requires both of you. Roll plus heat. So it's a nine plus four is a thirteen. Oof. Nice. So Take they that love it. And keep going. Yeah. Death Blossom coming out of the gate strong, proving that she means business. Yes, this time around, the thorns are out. <laughs> there is no love lost here. I think uh, while she's got her down on the on the mat, uh, she, like, picks her up and just smashes her uh, vampires back against the, the mat, just, like, while she's on the ground, just bam, to stun her for a second, and climbs up onto the, uh, the turnbuckle again. Um, and goes for a diving crossbody. It's like, all right, well, if you won't, if you won't stay down, I'll make you stay down. Mm-hmm. Boom, bam. Um, and 
I think I think I just want to wrestle with her. Like yeah, <laughs> no, I like it. Yeah. Some work. Ooh, and this is where things are going to change. So I've got a six here. Okay. Um, and I think it's interesting if I take the hit or take the botch mm -hmm. and uh, give her control. Okay. Okay, so, uh, yeah. So you go to, what were you trying to do again? Just to remind me. Go. She uh, has a, a vampire on the ground. Uh -huh. She goes up onto the turnbuckle and goes for a diving crossbody to, to pin her. Yeah. To just so, try what she's doing again, yeah. but like also show how yeah. cool she is by flying. She uh as Seth Botham goes to fly, Vampirus rolls out of the way, uh stands up and uh kind of pushes as uh Death Botham pushes her into the ground with her foot, shoving her to the mat with her uh stiletto. Uh then Ooh, she, right. yeah. Then she will um pick her up and grab her, pulling her up and uh, throwing her down into a front power slam. Uh, and she'll kind of like step back and walk around the ring and start gloating like, uh-huh, you thought you could keep me down. You thought you could keep me down, but you couldn't. Just a little bit of a gloat. And she like just goes around, goes around, goes around. I think Death Blossom kind of like gets, gets up and starts uh, moving, running at her. And then uh, and she's acting like she's not paying attention, but that preternational sense that she gets because she's a vampire, uh, right. she gets and just runs around and flying clotheslines her as she's coming at her, and then uh, knocks her down and continues her gloat, and uh, and she just because continues to vampire. gloat. And I think that's what what the preternatural sense she has because she's a vampire. Yes, obviously, <laughs> obviously. Uh, and then she'll just uh, keep gloating, and I think that I'll hand control back to Death Blossom as she's gloating the second time. And Pyrus fights back and takes control, knocking Death Blossom on her ass and gloats about it, too. Uh, I want to spend a momentum to interrupt her. Oh, okay. I like it. Because uh, I have this momentum, I might as well spend it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use a die for tracking this rather than just constantly erasing on my sheet. Totally. That makes so much <laughs> yeah. sense. Oh, yeah. my God. Uh, why didn't I do that? that that's why I've got um, a spreadsheet open, because it's just I just type the numbers. Yeah, I was just jotting it on a PDF before, but I'm trying something new here. Smart. Um, so I think she, uh, while she's wrestling, buckles her legs up under her, like balls them up, and uses them. Because she's really good at the, we've established she's good at these kicks. Mm -hmm. She just vaults her backwards with her, with her legs, and then uses that to, like, when she's kicked off, flips up onto her feet and stands. Oh, yeah. Um, good. And uh, walks slowly towards uh, Vampiris. Yeah, we know each other's tricks, don't we? Well, there's one thing that you're not expecting. I'm not burdened by being blinded by love anymore. She goes up onto the turnbuckle again. Um, and uh, I think... Uh, she yells out of the audience. They all tried to kill me one time. And what happened? I came back. They tried to kill me again. What happened? I came back. I'm just going to sell her uh, her new like motto. Mm -hmm. Just remember, Vancouver, death is just a detour. And she goes for a diving elbow slam uh, into Vampirus. Are you working the audience at this moment? I think I'm... Or you... I don't know if it's cheap heat so much. Or... I think it's sort of like, well, I'm praising them. Oh, that's true, you are. A little bit. I could yeah, see it being cheap you heat. You can cheap heat it if you want. I'll let you cheap heat it. Um, I might actually be cutting a promo. That that is because I'm like selling my yeah, no that's true you are selling your gimmick yeah. yeah yeah so yeah you can roll to cut a promo all right and this is I want an excuse to spend all this <laughs> momentum too because it's a two <laughs> minus two because I have uh, or sorry minus one because I have only minus one look so you roll uh, a one so I have a one <gasps> and I am currently sitting at three heat or sorry three momentum 
which is nowhere near enough to bring no, it up to a success. It's not gonna get... oh, so that. it doesn't connect. They ain't gonna do it. We don't have the over move anymore. Do we still have the over move? Is the, uh, for the, the announcers? announcers? Yeah. yeah. How, can we put somebody over that that failed that bad? Yeah, because uh, yeah, it always oh, bumps okay. them up to oh. the next. Um... Yeah, it always bumps them up okay. to the next bracket. Cool. Then I'll, I'll put Death Blossom over. Yeah, if you want. Yeah, I just want to remind us that we have that move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Death Blossom with some invigorating words to reinforce the type of person that she has become. She has truly blossomed. And he's and Johnny just stares deadpan into the screen. <laughs> like the camera like holds on it uncomfortably long for some reason. <laughs> uh, I think I want to add a stipulation to the current match. Uh huh. Um, and reveal that this is uh, a uh, hot house match. So it's sponsored by, by uh, Death, Death house. house Hot House Flowers. Um. So, as she goes for the sl the slam, um, or actually before she goes for the slam, um, a bunch of interns in like hot house, uh, death house, hot house flowers, uh, uh -huh. polo shirts, yeah, uh, cart in a bunch of like foliage yeah. and like fake plants around the bushes. Yeah, I love it. Um, as she's raising her arms, she's oh, like, no, "I've so learned good. a few things in my time away." What's the other half of my name? <laughs> That's where Johnny Wong's like, she's truly blossomed. Blossomed. <laughs> uh, so she can, like, use the vines and stuff to, oh, to wrestle so with. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. So I think, actually, what she does is, like, oh, while she's so up good. there, someone hands her a, a, a garland, like a wreath of uh, roses. Uh-huh. Um, and they're plastic, but yeah. we don't yeah. care. Yeah. Um, and she no, magic. Death, house, Damn it. No, Death House Hot House Flowers are real. They're real. Yeah, <laughs> yeah come on. They're real. Right. She Ugh. dives off of the um, uh, the turnbuckle uh, for the elbow drop. Yeah. And then when she lands, whips around and starts to try and like choke out Vampirus with the with the garland. Okay. Hold uh, on. I would say, um, may, roll your uh, heat. I would say roll your heat. Yeah. Uh, for this one. All right, so I've got a five, and I have three heat left, or three momentum left to spend. So I'm going to spend two of it to bring it up to a seven. Okay. Uh, are you going to retain control or take a momentum and pass it off? I'm going to give her control. Okay. And take I'm going to tell you at this moment that uh, that you were booked to win. Yep. Um, and I also tell you she is fighting back against you. And all she says is, I just want you to come back to me. That's all I want. And she's trying to pull the garland off. And she kind of almost starts to give up and and try, starts to go limp. And then she's like, no, Katrina needs to come back. And she starts to pull back with a renewed vigor and breaks free just barely as she pulls away from you, gasping for her air. I want to run gonna... in. Oh, OK. I want to run in at that point. As, yeah. As who? Yeah. I who would are like you to running as in, in as as in as in run I uh <laughs> take take her over under um <laughs> run in as the over undertaker okay so let me it was either gonna be it was either gonna be you or it's gonna be after dark <laughs> somebody's going in there um so I'm gonna roll to see how this goes first yeah uh do 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 once I get the new here we go here's the current version of the run in. I love this intro music. It's great. Oh, God. Um. So I rolled snake eyes. It doesn't oh, matter. So Nothing else matters. I could. I. I get a plus one from our heat. I could throw another momentum on top of that. It doesn't fucking matter. Uh. uh I get stopped before I hit the ring. Take one momentum. So. Well, no, no. Oh, I'll, I'll. I'll say this. As soon as you're running out. Um. So the person who's stopping you is actually After Dark, and After Dark just puts a hand up and says. And says in the robotic uh, helmet voice, "I got this." And what? you see, and, and you see, Ooh. after it just pulls out, like is you see the, the leather jacket and everything, but you see like there's chains being unra unraveled and just starts going out there. Can you roll before you go so I don't hit your music if you don't make it out there? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I got this. I need, I need, <laughs> I need to know, I need to know what you're running. Hey, hey, man, I, tried. I definitely got the, I got an eight, <laughs> so. Yeah. 
So I get one, one heat. Uh, the target is going to be um, is going to be uh, vampires. So that way, vampires has to choose. <laughs> Okay. This is this is the new wrestler after dark. Mm-hmm. This is your debut. Yeah. This is her, this so is, so this as is a their, debut. Their debut. Yeah. This is their my, debut. yeah, their debut. Um so they are coming in, you see the, the music coming in, you see smoke billowing, you hear the sound on the in the speakers of the motorcycle engine running, and you see uh they are coming out with a purple helmet with with like like, like uh, lightning strikes coming out from the sides, and it's a purple helmet, a purple purple my, motorcycle helmet. You see the uh, black leathers, and you see that it has it's like a, it's very skin tight, and um, kind of has a little bit of feminine features. And you just see this long chain, long uh, metal chain just being dragged on t- from behind, and. Um, what uh, what they're going to do is they are going to wrap uh, since uh, since uh, um, did did vampires break out of that uh, that garner hold? Yeah, vampires yeah. had staggered away. Okay, so what's going to happen is um, then after dark is going to wrap the chains around uh, Death Blossom's leg and pull. Well, you you don't want to do that because you're targeting vampires. Oh. Oh, okay. right. Um, right. Okay, so in well, that case, what's going Which oh, effect you have to wait for? until I decide. Yeah, somebody has okay. to pick the effect first. Here. I pick the effect. Yeah, you, you have to pick the effect. Um, so, what you're going to do is you're going to attack them in the ring. This books okay. vampires to win, which okay. means that Death Blossom gets DQ'd for outside interference. Ooh. Okay. So, okay. So, what it's going to probably end up being is um, instead, it's going to be like kind of like the a Ghost Rider scenario where it's like the chains just come wrapping around vampires. And you just see a tug and pull, and you just see the chains just wrap over um, After Dark's uh, back shoulder and just starts dragging Empires out while she's screaming. <laughs> like, let Empire me out. Just gets pulled out, out of the ring. Yeah, that's fair. Yep. I like that. Um, announcers, just so you know, this is After Dark, a new wrestler. Well. Oh my God, Johnny, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? And like, Rory is like hitting Johnny in the shoulder. Yep, it's after Johnny's dark. just like. <laughs> it's yes, after I... dark. <laughs> yes, I, I see this that. Is, this is a mysterious person that the over undertaker was talking to. Yes. And it <laughs> seems that their, reputa- their reputation uh, c- consistently as this dark and mysterious wrestler continues. Uh, the bell rings. <laughs> And are you the are you announcing this? Bring announcer. No, no, go for it. Okay. Uh, uh, Death Blossom has been disqualified due to outside interference. The winner of this match by disqualification is Vampires. The crowd is not very happy with this. Yeah, nope. I want to do. I actually want to spend my remaining two momentum uh-huh. uh, for my new. Newly updated Technico move uh, because I did yeah. a face turn after the end of the last session, yeah. so I'm no longer a Rudo. Um, but uh, I can choose to spend two momentum, and an ally comes to your aid, and I gain one plus one heat with them. I want to have Diesel come out. Oh yeah! And just like start yelling like that's bullshit. That's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. This whole me... system's rigged, man. <laughs> Diesel's just gonna like. She just comes out. In her normal way, and her normal, she's just like a brawler, so she just walks out. And she's like getting in After Dark's face, who's pulling Vampires away. It's like, what are you doing? This is bogus. You're not supposed to do this. And she's just like, this is crap, and just yelling at After Dark for you. Yeah. And After Dark just kind of looks up and says, in in the robotic voice, loser. And just, <laughs> just ye- walks. yelling. Just yelling. <laughs> and and uh, gets on the bike with <laughs> Vampire is still on the chains, hooks it up to the back of the bike, and you just see uh, After Dark's girl running, r- just riding off. Uh, I think as as you start to ride off, the Over Undertaker is is like standing sideways by the exit, like just kind of like this, and then just like as you go by, is like like holds out a wad of cash with two fingers. 
Yep, and uh, pick, grabs the cash with one hand and. <laughs> and Diesel will make her way to the ring and kind of like support you and help you and like be like it's it's okay we'll get him back and like yeah. kind of lead you. I want to I want to take this last moment to cut a quick yeah. promo, which is yeah. like as we're leaving, like Death Blossom's like her head is down, she's clearly furious, and Diesel's like like come on come on we got to get out of here, and mm-hmm. she finally like breaks off and like turns around, storms over to the announcer desk and grabs one of the mics and goes. I don't know what that was, but that's bull. You come out here, I want a clean match, and I'm done with this whole back alley dealings and everything like that. I know who's responsible for this. The Over Undertaker, (laughs) whoever the hell you came from, you meet me in the ring. You want to meddle with people's business? You want to start problems? You got one, and her name is Death Blossom. I'm calling you out. You meet me in the ring, or you leave town. Uh, let's see what my terrible look does. <laughs> it's probably not going to connect. Who? Uh, so I have a two plus a six, minus one, brings me to a seven. Got a seven. Uh, so I have uh, their attention, and I'm going to make creative book you in book a match me with... in a match against the Over Undertaker. Sensible, yep. reasonable. Mm-hmm. All right. Never mind that After Dark is a person that actually interfered. No. Oh yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Never no. mind that. Nah. No, no, no. Um, and then she I, storms off. Yeah, I, After, Dark's, I, After Dark is just a merc. Yeah, just a merc. Which well, that was I, intense. I love. <laughs> I, I think the only thing the under over Undertaker says like in response is just like produces a microphone from nowhere and looks at the camera and just says you had your chance <laughs> y'all are awful you're awful awful people and I love it alright uh, we're going to move to um, uh, Phoenix uh, where I don't know where you are for your commercial so you can decide oh uh, what am I advertising protein now bars you're, you're, oh uh, god um what's <laughs> the protein bars <laughs> god let's, let's do that in the weight room screw it it makes sense i actually have a protein bar right here that's uh, I just <laughs> hey the fire with the most flame or the most fuel burns hottest Fuel your fire with protein. With protein plus bars. Now. Now. Now do it. <laughs> do it now. What are you? Some kind of fucking coward? <laughs> do it. Do it right now. Put it in your face. Put the protein bar in your face. And Eat it. Cut Eat it because you. Disaster. <laughs> <Shit>. <laughs> Because I had to change it because there's actually protein plus bars. I'm the worst. I'm sorry. It's my fault. <laughs> Does anyone have anything they really want to do before we head back to the ring? Oh, we got to get that match up. Yeah, we got to get that yeah, match Yeah, we got to get that match. That's why I was asking. Okay, we head back to the ring with Ramiro and Rory at the announce table. Oh, God. Welcome back, ringside. Uh, everybody, uh, we are here once again to see the, 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 the final match that we've uh, been waiting for. Uh, Phoenix bringing back the intensity uh, now that she has uh, fully come into her own and spread her wings. Uh, facing off against Karma. R- Rory, uh, what do we know about Karma? Well... Uh, we know that, that Karma is a wrestler from the local indie circuit. Uh, she comes out of Portland, Oregon, and has been on an absolute tear recently. Fantastic. Uh, clearly uh, hacking and slashing uh, up through the, the, the indie scene, and here finally making the big leagues. Uh, it's time to see uh, whether it's true what they say uh, about Karma. Is she a bitch? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Phoenix steps out onto the, uh, the entryway ramp. 
uh, with a lot of swagger in her step this time, uh, like, looking up at the crowd, and then, uh, like, reaches down, puts both fists on, on the floor, kind of, like, bent over halfway, and then as she goes up like this and puts her arms up in the air, like, the pyro on either side of the little ramp just go foof, 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 down the, uh, down the, uh, lines, and she just kind of, like, walks with her arms, uh, fists up in the air, just, just taking it all in, just taking every moment it's like yeah that's right i'm here i'm i'm king shit of fuck mountain let's go uh and then walks up to the ring and uh, like grabs her open kind of like hops and pulls herself up onto the apron and then just like points at the um at, at someone by the ring and just like motions for a microphone snatches it out of their hand I don't know, folks, what do you think? That last match, that was kind of bullshit, huh? You know... <laughs> I may have my differences with Death Blossom, but, uh... You know, she's right. It's supposed to be about wrestling. And not about... I don't even know what that was. We got weirdos in motorcycle helmets now. And, um... Bookies or something. People throwing money around? Hey, I guess we got money now. That's cool. Maybe some of that could uh, trickle down to the talent? Mr. McCormick? That's a thought. I don't know. Something to consider. That's and all now, I gotta say. For our main event, <laughs> this match is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, weighing in at 140 pounds, hailing from Austin, Texas, Phoenix! She just does what she wants. <laughs> this I is the part it. where everybody cheers. Thank you. This is where the cheering happens for me. Uh, yeah. Who the hell am I fighting tonight? <laughs> I just lean on the ropes. And now, weighing in at 146 pounds, hailing from Portland, Oregon. Karma! Uh... A very, um... A full leotard. Bright purple. Uh... Long, dark hair. Like, a uh, tanned brown skin. Brown eyes. Uh, the ends of her hair is, like, that purpley, uh, pinky color. She skips out. Oh, She's no. got arm warmers and leg warmers and a headband and she's exceedingly happy she's like just jumping and so excited to be there and she just jumps and she's like skipping down the entire whoa 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 uh, like the, the the whole ramp to the to the ring and she's so excited it's, she it's comes just... from the pwn indies and she's so excited to be there as, like as she's coming down the ramp, I just like I'm like leaning on the the ropes, like overlooking the side she's on. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa! I will break this little girl in half. This is not, no, you can't. You're feeding me. Hang on, hang on. You're feeding me absolute children here today. And then she makes it into the. How ring, old are you? And and she grabs the. She like she's like, can I see? Can I see the mic? The mic. <sighs> Yes, you may see the mic. What is going on? What? What? Oh my god, it's Phoenix! I'm so excited! Holy I have crap. been the biggest fan of you forever! Oh my goodness! Uh, oh, I'm so excited to finally be here. It's finally time. I finally okay. get to be wrestling. Breathe. It's Definitely finally. breathe. Ha! Huh. I'm finally. just kind of... You are... If I could just... The little... The, the talkie. Can I have that back? If I could just... Uh, 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 yeah. Whatever you want. Yeah. Hey, okay. You're like my hero. I'm just so excited to be here. You're one of the Jeez. first women in wrestling. And it's like my oh, dream to I be can't. a woman in wrestling. And to do this here on this stage in this amazing place with these amazing people. And she's just like so hype. I'm calling over. I'm like calling over the ref. <laughs> the I ref can't. comes over. I'm going to murder uh, this absolute you're, you're, child. Like, I can't. No, I can't. I can't fight her. How am I supposed to? All right, no, I know. I know who's responsible for this nonsense. Alistair, where the hell are you? 
One you thing that, that Phoenix doesn't realize is that Karma has a 46-0 record in the Indies. What do you think about that, Ramiro? Uh, it's just incredible. Uh, it's unbelievable that someone uh, of this uh, stature and style uh, can uh, bring bring so much heat into the ring. Um, and there she comes, jazzercising her way into the arena uh, and ready to, to uh, show uh, uh, Phoenix that uh, Pilates can actually kill. So uh, while you're arguing with the ref about uh, fighting her, she's like, okay, Phoenix, I love you, but it's time to wrestle. And she's literally just going to come at you uh -huh. with a running back elbow and just knock you to the ground. Yes! And uh, she's <sighs> uh, she's gonna climb up onto the ropes and just do a diving crossbody and be like, sorry! And uh, and, uh, and uh, just be like, oh, 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 this is so great, this is so great, I'm so excited. Uh, she's gonna stand up and she's gonna be like, this is everything I ever dreamed of, this is so amazing. Uh, stand up and you, as you stand up, she just drop kicks you down to the mat and she's like, oh, 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 and she's taking her breath, I'm gonna hand control to you. <laughs> Coming out the gate incredibly strong, uh, here comes Karma. Um, by God, she's got an incredible pep in her step, uh, just slamming into Phoenix, who's busy arguing with the ref and doesn't see it coming. She gets knocked to the ground. Here comes the crossbody. By God, she's got a pinder under the ground. Nope, but Phoenix isn't having any of it. She comes back up for the snap drop kick, and it's a one, two, three succession. Phoenix is getting absolutely hammered in the ring with no ability to breathe. But it looks like Karma doesn't have the space to breathe either. So now here comes Phoenix with a chance for the comeback. Uh, I think, I think like, uh, like as I'm getting up, she comes in to like plant a kick in the middle of me, and like, and as she does, I just sort of like grab it under my left arm, and my right arm just like comes in with an elbow to just like boom right in the chest, like knocking her back flat on her ass. And I'm just kind of like this this look of shock and bewilderment. I'm just like, all right, kid. Let's see what you can do. Let's see what you can do. It's like, and this kind of like starts circling. You're like, come on, come on, get back up and fight me. And, and, uh, and we go in and we like, we lock up for a second. And, uh, I go in and I, I just try to like, you know, hip toss her. It's like, screw it. Let's just start with the basics. Just hop over. And like, she goes up and over and lands square on her feet and like turns and flings me into the, uh, like Irish whips me immediately and like as as I like bounce off the rope, she just comes back around with like a back elbow, like right to my face. Uh, what the hell should I roll? Because these have changed. What the hell should I roll? Uh, you could roll work. Because you're you... showcasing some basic yeah. talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you don't really have heat, or you can no. roll heat. It's up to you, but like, yeah. You, you could roll, roll heat because it it does sound like you're kind of working yeah. together with each other, but. I would just yeah. make a flat roll. Eh. I'll let you roll work. Yeah, let's roll work. Let's roll. This is a let's completely new wrestler. Mm -hmm. I will let you roll work. Totally. Uh, okay, that is a four. That's a six plus. The hell is my work? All right, two. Six. I rolled an eight. Uh, choose whether hand control and take this over. Um, I'm going to take the momentum and hand control back because I'm going to build up some momentum for something here. Phoenix uh, comes out with a slam and knocking uh, uh, Karma backwards, uh, but it looks like she's able to reverse the, the hip toss, uh, landing on her feet just like a cat with the incredible reflexes on Karma. Uh, but uh, here comes uh, Phoenix again, and, and no, uh, Karma's not having any of it. She reverses it, and it's that's, a, that's instant Karma as Phoenix goes flying backwards. Can Phoenix handle the incredible power of her biggest fan? She's going to pick you up. Uh, up above her shoulders and just like God. drop you back uh, onto the onto the mat, and then she's going to uh, kind of um, wrap you up into a heartbreaker uh, uh, submission move, and uh, she'll hand uh, control back to you. But you are in a submission hold. Oh God, um, this is where my my ignorance uh, bites through the ass. Uh, what kind of a hold is that? The heartbreaker. It's the I... one with the uh, you're in a. Lit Hard to, I'm trying to the best to describe it. Smurf, if you can help me out describing it, it's the uh, leg lock. It's like the okay. backwards reverse leg lock. The Boston Crab? Uh, no. Oh, um, there's a there's another term for it. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's it is. It's like an archery term, isn't it? Where like you're kind of like pinned over each other and you're like. No, it's them. one person is above, 
kind of sitting on the other person's butt, holding pulling back their leg. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, pinning their, and has their other leg between their legs. That's the best way I can describe it, I think. Totally. Um, I just That's I needed something. Of it. Yeah. No, no, totally. I just I need something as a basis to yeah. kind of work from. Um, I guess it's not called the heartbreaker, but it's the best way I know it because of Brett Hart. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about uh, the sharp. Sharpshooter. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yes. That's, That's what oh. I was thinking. Of. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. That's okay. what I meant. Um. Yeah, and and I I think um uh, that she like sells it for a while there. It's it's a lot of just like ah oh god my leg uh, is hurting and you know the ref's like coming over and it's like no 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 I'm still in and then um uh, god do I want to do something shitty here uh I think like Phoenix kind of like turns back and it's like so where are you from anyway and she starts to talk again and like lose concentration. And like Phoenix uses that to kind of like break uh, her uh, her leg out, and and roll like off like kind of push her off to the to the side of the mat. And uh, Phoenix like uh, gets up and and she's uh, Kar Karma's like still kind of talking to Phoenix like yeah whatever and then goes in and it's just like they start tr like just boom punch boom punch back, uh, and they they kind of go back and forth for a couple of blows. Uh, but Phoenix, like, it's, it's, I punch you, you punch me, and then, like, uh, as, as Karma's kind of stunned from the, from the next one, um, Phoenix sort of, like, uh, grabs her, uh, by the, by the head, and, uh, or actually, wait, no, yeah, she, she wraps her arm, like, around her neck, and then runs to, uh, step up onto the bottom and middle row, and then just drops backwards with her. Okay, onto the have mat. To roll heat for this one. Okay. Because totally. of all your shenanigans. Okay. This is just a roll. As a seven. Yeah, that's a seven. Okay. Uh, I'm going to retain control of the match at that point. Okay. No time for a question and answer session as Phoenix uh, comes back around with the incredible reversal. Uh. And then, like, once she's, uh, like, down the mat, um, Phoenix goes over and it's like, all right, fine, we're not playing around, screw it. And, like, plants a kick into Karma's side, and then plants a second one in there. Uh, and then goes to plant the third, and uh, Karma just kind of, like, wraps her arms up around that leg. And just, like, slams Phoenix down to the mat. And then again, goes up to, like, put her back in that submission hold again. Uh... That's the, that's the, I guess that still feels like heat. heat. That still yeah. feels like heat at that point. Looks like it had to hurt. Hopefully Karma doesn't do any heavy drinking because it's sure that her liver won't sustain those uh, the incredible power of Phoenix's kicks. Here she comes with the submission again. Uh, that is a, another seven. I'm going to uh, take the momentum on that one and hand control back. Okay. Um, how, how did that end with her throwing you to the ground? Yeah, she grabbed my leg, put me back down uh, into the ground, and then pulled me back up into another leg submission. Just right back into that. It's like, this um, is where we just were. She's going to uh, jump up, uh, uh, kind of throw you to the ground, get up onto the uh, turnbuckle, up to the top, jump into a flying frog splash on top of you, uh, and then she is booked to win. So she's going to uh, reach down, grab you, lift you up into her finishing move called the Rebirth, where she takes you, and she'll take you, if you allow this to happen, slam you to the ground, like take you up by the chin. Yeah. Kind of like a chokehold slam. Yeah, it's a choke slam, yeah. And she does it three times. Oof. And then pins you. Karma bringing that incredible uh, physique, uh, bel uh, unbelievable from her figure, uh, uh, raising Phoenix up above her head. The Phoenix is spreading her wings and trying to... No! One, it's unbelievable! She can't two, fight back! Bam! Three, into the uh, ground! A second uh, time! Wait. Running from After Dark. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> After Dark is here Roll to cause your run it. Roll your run in. Yep. I told right, you, so Ramiro. Karma, she knows her way around a ring. Ooh, I rolled a 12. <laughs> okay. Let's see what I tell you, Rory, that's the last time I doubt your assessment of the sport. Uh, you pick one. Right, so I pick one. I get one heat with them. 
Oh, we get each one heat. So, um, uh, so they're going to target um, Karma, and what's going to end up being is uh, Karma's going to come in and shove the re- uh, is going to start a brawl. Okay. And is going to cause the uh, to cause the match to be no contest. Okay. So, all right. So, okay. All right. What does this look like? As so after dark uh, runs in. So uh, after dark literally r- runs in with the motorcycle and does like an acrobatic uh, jump off of the motorcycle onto the ring, and literally just. Uh, does a, ha- a haymaker right on Karma, and then follows up with um, uh, uh, let's see, because they now have two momentum. Um, they're gonna also pull. They're gonna use the two momentum for their heel move, and um, so it's going to ch- it's going to be basically uh, a cheat, uh, and then basic well a cheat in the way of basically just surprising them and not and then committing to uh, using a roundhouse kick. Across Karma's face to knock her, knock her down. Okay. So, and you start a brawl between everybody. Yep. Okay. The ref comes in. I start. I just start. I just start uh, uh, with a quick uh, whiplash across the face. And oh. then, uh, and then Phoenix <laughs> just, just walks over to Phoenix, and actually just says, "Loser," in the robotic voice. Uh. Phoenix gets up and just fucking like decks you in the gut, just like. I think I think I'm gonna allow for any of the wrestlers in the stable who want to run out and be a part of this to run out and start this. Just oh yeah. This. yeah, yeah. I will tell you, most of the stable runs out and just starts being involved in this brawl. Um, do Ron and Death Blossom? Uh, Ron does not run out. Okay. This is beneath him. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Fair. Uh, the cook will try to break up the fight. Okay. What is Death Blossom doing? Uh, Death Blossom comes out, um, I think, with a with a Cat Meadows branded steel chair. Yes. Uh, yes. This is this chair that says "Respect the chair." Yes. Uh, spray painted on it. Um, and so she's like dragging it behind her. You know the way that like pyramid head carries the sword oh yeah um, mm-hmm. as she's like yeah. storming into the ring um i think she doesn't get a chance to use it but she's like looking for an angle to try yeah. to hit somebody I, I would tell you diesel family everyone is out most everyone is out there like just being a part of this or trying to break it up in some way and i think that's the best way for this to end is with this yeah. all-out brawl in the middle of the ring and Alistair, just like the the camera moves to Alistair up in his control room, looking out over the entire uh, thing, kind of grinning. And then it cuts to, if I can get my mouse to work. This has been PWN Live from Vancouver, Washington. Don't forget to tune in next week for all the live action wrestling fun. Same time, same channel. See you there. We're back. <laughs> PWN, We're gonna y'all. A little different. PWN. We're going to do our outros, but we've done something a little bit different because, uh, we want to be more involved with y'all in chat um, and still have time to focus on and play the game. So we thought we would uh, play the game for about two and a half hours. We'll do our outros and then we'll sit around. We'll debrief a little bit like we normally do. Uh, and then we'll answer questions if you have them or uh, we could talk about anything you want to talk about until about three, if that sounds good to y'all in chat. So we're hoping that you like that. and We'll see how it works. So first, let's do outros right quick. And we will start backwards, so we'll start with Jackie this time. Hi, everybody. I'm Jackie, better known as Death by Mage. And you can find me all over the internets uh, as Death by Mage. Um, I just want to say I'm very glad to be back. Um, I got to, I'm glad to be playing The Cook again. I'm also really excited to play After Dark, because After Dark was literally designed to be this m- merc, this, this faceless merc of a character, and literally just cause a lot of mayhem. And I'm really looking forward to it. 
Um, and you can find all my wonderful creations on the DMs Guild as well as itch.io. So you can look all those wonderful links up on the in the chat. And also, I am the project leader for Unbreakable Anthology, which is a pan Asian uh, a pan Asian D and D anthology written by Asian creators and also illustrated by Asian artists. And you can find this lovable book on Drive Through RPG, which is Yay. also the links are going to be in the in the in the link down below in chat. Yep. Perfect. All right, Smurf. Hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Smurf. Uh, I am a uh, tabletop role playing game uh, player for a lot of different people. Uh, I play on. Uh, I'm a DM player and founder of Dumpstat Charisma. Uh, I also play on Soul Bear RPG and Welcome to the Party RPG and here. Uh, so come check out all of my streams. It's if it's a day of the week, I'm probably streaming. I fit them all into the thing. I was really impressed. I'm impressed with you. <laughs> Great job. I was impressed. I was like, Ooh. Herculean, if you will. Simon. Hello, I'm Simon. You can find me on Twitter at Lucha Libris. I am a RPG streamer. I am a voice actor, uh, and I am a LARP right. Um, you can find me here uh, every week. Obviously, I'm on Welcome to the Party on Sunday nights. Um, so if you're looking for something to do after this show at eight o'clock Eastern, come back uh, for Erwin, which is a Numenera homebrew setting inspired by Skyward Sword. Um, I am the GM for Unnatural Disasters on Wednesday nights on Welcome to the Party, 8 p.m. We're playing Monster of the Week inspired by Hellboy and XCOM. Um, I am wrapping up a Blades in the Dark campaign for the next two weeks on Scraticus Academy, Thursdays, 2.30 Eastern. Um, I am a tabletop designer. You can find my games under the same name uh, LuchaLibris.itch.io, um, including a one-shot party RPG based on the musical Cats, so um, and uh, a game about goblin revolutionaries fighting their <laughs> elven overlords. Um, and you can listen to my voice in a variety of different character contexts on the Penumbra Podcast, which is a queer sci-fi and fantasy audio drama. Learn more about that at the Penumbra Podcast.com. Fox. Uh, hey folks, I remain Fox Barrett at Fox underscore Barrett on Twitter, where you can mostly find me retweeting folks right now for obvious reasons. Uh, you can also catch me, uh, what is it, Sunday? All right. So Monday nights, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash Gaming, where I am part of their Stellar Age, Arbiter's Ascent, 053 two second apex game. We just call it Stellar Age. Um, yeah, it's, it is a uh, slightly modified homebrewed uh, Expanse RPG uh, game about giant robots and uh, and big feelings. Uh, Tuesday nights, you can find me... Yeah, Tuesday and mistakes and juice. Uh, Tuesday nights, you can find me over at uh, twitch.tv slash... Oh, Jesus, I should mention Monday nights. Monday at 8 Eastern time is when Stellar Age goes down. Uh, Tuesday nights, you can find me over at twitch.tv slash welcomepartyrpg. Uh, again, uh, that's at 8 o'clock Eastern Time for the Rifts game, Blood, Dirt, and Chrome, that our lovely creative is also in. So come check that out. It is also about mistakes and feelings. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mistakes and feelings. That's true. It kind of is. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Hi. I'm Kate. You can find me at me in midair on the internet. I haven't really been on Twitter for the last entire week because I've been kind of busy with this and work. Um, but and we did it. It's here. I, I know we did, we did it. We did the thing. So, uh, yeah. I'm getting ahead of myself. We survived. Um, so far. Uh, but you can also find me again, um, in a couple of places on the internet tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific. I think it's 5 p.m. Is it 4:30? Shoot. It's 4. 4:30. Yeah, 4:30. 4:30. Yeah. I think it's in, right in the thing. 4:30 mm -hmm. Pacific time over at twitchtv slash games. I'll be playing with Jackie in uh. Dragonlance, the Lost Tower game, uh, where I get to play an evil necromancer. It's super fun. I'm not playing an evil wizard. No, for some <laughs> amazingly, that's me. Uh, so that's super fun. Uh, you can go check it out there. And then on Thursday nights, I every other week, I play in a Call of Cthulhu game where I play a museum curator. You can check that out. It's really fun. And then I also play in Rift, Blood, Dirt, and Chrome with Fox, which she talked about. That's me. And then I also make things on the internet like this overlay and other overlays and logos like, like, and stuff. like this one and that one and this one like and that one and that things. one and this one are you just switching them all maybe <laughs> I, yep. yep. I have uh, infinite power Shwa. let's go off Shwa. let's go on i am god uh, here so you can check me out on me and those are our outros 
Anything else we need to tell the lovely people? Oh, y'all, oh. we actually have merch, like real merch. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, the we shirts do. shirts that our characters talk about, we actually have. It's over at SoNerdWear.com, which is our sponsor. They're amazing. They give us this awesome super code where you can get 10% off all your purchases at SoNerdWear.com. Uh, use the code RASSLE, that's W-R-A-S-S-L-E, and you can get 10% off your purchases. I ordered things already, and I'm so excited for them to come. I, I'm getting I get Cook's own stuff soon. I'm getting I'm getting a couple things. I had to pick because I could only afford two shirts. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not going to tell you whose merch I picked. But anyway. Um, <laughs> and then we have a Discord. Check it out down below. Uh, in the uh, Twitch information, you can come hang out with us there. I think those are the announcements that we need to get through. Yeah, get announced, son. Hey, we're back! We did the thing! We survived! We're on a new channel now! We did! Woo! Oh, it feels good to be back. It's nice to be back. Like I said, I'm so sorry if I'm if I if I have been a total if if After Dark has been a total nuisance. No, it's great. <laughs> I mean, oh. it's establishing your character, right? Yeah, so. so so here's the thing, right? It's like on the one hand, I'm just like, oh man, well, there goes that match. I was gonna I was gonna get some heat. Nope. <laughs> but on the other hand, um, we we're doing what you should be doing at the start of a new season of something. It's like here are the new characters and here's why they matter, which I think is cool. Right. Like, um, I I had not planned on um the over Undertaker potentially having like a flunky essentially. Oh, but I love that dichotomy. That's fantastic. Uh, yeah. So that works super well for me. Even if Phoenix I, I is gonna would... be mega pissed about it next episode. Yeah, I, I kind of was like I wasn't sure how to really introduce After Dark either, but then I was like. Well, After Dark would fit would fit great as a flunky, especially one that's just a merc. And I was kind of like, yeah, this is a, a, a character who uh, they just they just trying to get by and trying to get into the promotion, and they just got in, and it's like they'll take any advantage they can get. Totally. Uh, Varnish Truth in the chat pointing out, oh right, yeah, don't we have um heat loss yeah, and stuff in the session? That. There's an end of session move. Yeah, I'm looking for yeah. it in the new stuff. I'm it might not be in the new stuff if that move didn't change. Yeah, Maybe. like certainly if things didn't change, it didn't get added into the new into that document yet. I don't know if it's new or not. I'm so yeah, so um, I, I changes think to it's... heat. Most of the gimmicks have had slightly revised heat questions, but other than that, no changes. So I guess that means the the process for losing heat and stuff still triggers. Still the same, yeah. Okay. Um, but if anyone made significant progress um, on their want. That right. does. Oh, yeah, clear we should talk. We should we should talk yeah. about once actually. Oh yeah, that'd be a good yeah. thing. Because yeah. that's a yeah, that's a whole that new mechanic, and I think it's mechanic. super rad. I love, I love it. it. Uh, everyone, everyone gets, gets drives. <laughs> Basically, yeah, well, everyone yeah. has wants, and there's also everyone gets a new additional uh, trigger for advancement that is unique to just their playbook too. I think we should talk oh, about that. Right. Let's go through what everybody's want is, and while I look for that stuff at the end, totally. I know it's all here. Right, so. I, I can share the cooks. That's the easiest Please. one. Uh, the first, the, the want for the cook is mainstream recognition. No, wait, really? Oh, honey. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> and that's actually, ironically, also a very unique want that only appears on the Luminary uh, playbook. That uh, we So we updated the cook. We went from uh, the High Flyer. We updated it to the uh, Luminary. Uh, that seemed to fit the cook the best because the high flyer got kind of dismantled and redistributed yeah. to other playbooks. Mm -hmm. So the luminary fit the best, and it really does because the first move that you can pick for, that you can pick from character creation was literally called merchandising. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, okay, that's it. We're, that, no, no more. We don't have to guess further than this. You've we're, been we're doing going it since straight the beginning. <laughs> so what's after dark want? I'm curious. Uh, After Dark's want is actually different. Uh, After Dark is uh, domination. Uh, so leaning a little bit more along the lines of making sure everybody else is crushed and then standing on top of them all. Oh, I like it. I like okay. it. So okay. So joining up with the the over Undertaker fits fits the bill. Like, whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm super curious then. What the hell does Ron want? Because he's kind of got is... everything. What does Ron want? Yeah, Ron what's his wants want? Domination. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> he, he, fair enough. He's already has it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he thinks yeah. he has it. Yeah, he thinks he has it. <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, 
I really like that uh, After Dark is a mercenary because it gives me a lot of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> it's fertile yeah. ground for sure. Yeah, yeah to be sure. Oh, so good. That's so good. What's uh, what's Death Blossom's front want? Uh, her want right now is adulation of the crowd. Ooh, I like it. Mm. Ooh, so I she like doesn't it. care about like my my options are like a championship title, join a group, revenge, domination, adulation of the crowd. My unique one is unmask my nemesis. I've done that before. Yeah. I don't want have. that right away. Yeah. We don't have like vampires and I have heat, but we don't care about yeah, like yeah. that specifically. Yeah. But yeah. Death Blossom wants more to like reassert herself now that she's no longer a uh, zombie possessed. Yeah. Like she wants to be like I I'm back and I want you to know that I'm back. She's Give un undead. Me the attention. Yeah. Right. So good. That's so good. What about uh Phoenix and the over undertaker? Uh Phoenix is easy. Yeah. She wants to take down the boss. Fair. Is her want It's like just stone cold this shit just straight up. Super easy. Mm -hmm. Uh the over undertaker is actually kind of tricky cuz I wasn't quite sure what to go for there. Um so like I, I just filled in a championship title because I didn't know who the hell the character was yet. Uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and change that since I believe you can do that at any time. You just don't mark yes. in advance. Yes. Um, and I don't know. What the hell does she want? She's the clown? She's what the you, clown what playbook. What can you pick from? Uh, so the, the standard stuff of like championship title, join a group, revenge, domination, uh, adulation of the crowd, and then finally a showcase for your skills. I think that makes oh, sense because yeah. you've been gunning yeah. for that this whole time of yeah. like nobody has actually taken you up on these bets yet. These bets, mm -hmm. yeah. If you make it about mm -hmm. the bets. Yes, which I is think, yeah. 100% all she cares about. Yep. Is... Like I could oh. see a cool scene being like you booking a, a segment between two characters, like working to get both of them to agree and then thinking that it's like an independent <laughs> yeah. decision or something yeah. like that yeah, that's right so like, good. like sell it to the audience that this is like oh this is definitely something that was naturally occurring and it's like no the over undertaker has literally been having you a hand masterminded it masterminding yeah. it totally the thing. that's so yeah. good and oh, yeah. i need to i need to i need to fuss around and look at some of the moves and see what i can i can do to to sort of manipulate things mechanically as well because like yeah it's absolutely it's like she is technically a wrestler she technically does have a wrestling playbook but the more she can get out of doing that is like very much going to be her modus operandi like for sure mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. She's also got a really weird move that I picked up specifically because somebody thought we should have, like, fucking McGruff the crime dog around and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that would be. I, I don't remember that. That's, yeah. Well, I... I don't recall. I don't recall. Well, I... Who would have done that? Um, and it's... The move is called Celebrity Promo, and it's when you carry yeah. a... When you carry a guest star or non-wrestling celebrity through a segment, roll plus look, and then a whole bunch of, like, just oh, that's nonsense. Oh, so good. Like, I can add them to matches, like... Oh, that's so good. Yeah. That's so good. So... Um, yeah, I love it. I love so the next it. time a large bird comes around or fucking some kind of entertainment mouse, like, I've got a move ready to go. Uh, so just the cooling off was each character you lose one heat with any character you didn't have a segment with. Or significantly That's like most unstable. <laughs> oh, my... Well, I mean, if you were in the brawl at the end. Okay, fair. That's fair. I think. I guess we can count that. Uh, okay, sure. I I don't have a problem with that. You were okay. all in a big, huge fight at the end. That counts. And Let's then, see. uh, any character with zero audience is fired. I don't think any of you. Yeah, wrong no. with most people. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, Ron actually uh, drops a zero heat with me. Or actually, no, wait, because I, I never mind. I saw him in the no. locker room. You totally like beat yeah. my, you hit my championship belt. platter. <laughs> yeah, I did with a baseball bat. <laughs> you hit my that, championship that platter. Sorry. <laughs> I already have a replacement for next week up in here for the platter. Up, up, oh my gosh. Oh the plat. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking forward. Uh, I do. I do. However, my my heat with Super Brover falls to one. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm and sorry. my my heat with <laughs> chat. the Buffets were not the Buffets were not in the brawl. I'm sorry. Uh, Are you sure? Regrettably. Unless you, <laughs> Simon, do you want them to be in the brawl? No, it doesn't matter okay. to me. Um, if you no, want I, them to be in the brawl, it's fine. I'm okay <laughs> with my heat with Super Brover continuing to decrease. Um, that being said, uh, does my heat with Alistair decrease? It's weird because he's never no, around. You're, uh, whenever you yell at him and call him out, 
No, that's okay. always... It's just... That's you interacting with Alistair. He's never okay. going to actually interact with you personally. The, the, well, it is. Well, the camera most pans the over to the camera that's just yeah. blinking with the red yeah. signaling that it's on. And that's how yeah. the, the segment goes. It's like, it just pans over to the camera. Okay. Yeah. I either have four heat with you or one heat with you or no heat with you. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone who knows who Karma was based on, but I bet you can guess. It's Bailey. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> it's pre Karen Bailey. Yeah. She's delightful. Pre I love Bailey. Pre Karen yeah. Bailey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's yeah. she's a total Karen now. That That is. I know. Oh. Yeah. That's regrettable. I wanted, to bring, I wanted to bring my favorite Bailey back, so I did. <laughs> the I Over Undertaker was very, well, came this close. Like, my original a plan for that character was going to be someone very Bailey esque in that regard. Because I remember I talked to you about it. Even. Yeah, like, you oh, did. And then you did. Somebody's didn't go like that really way. bubbly. And it's and just like, wait, no, fuck way, it. And then I was like, ah, oh, bringing Bailey I, I, in. <laughs> I, re I really just wanted, like, this very Merc like character. So I kind of, and then I just casually saw an image of Ghost Rider the other day, and I went, Oh yeah, that could work. And then I just went, oh wait, then there's Selty from Dorara, which is an, an which is hilarious anime. And then I thought about that, and then I thought about other a few other things, and I thought, well, I could go with, like this complete like, like kind of just um, mercenary freelancer kind of character who's just out for getting everyone crushed below whatever means are used. Which for me begs the question of does the after dark or does the after dark does after dark have a head? Oh, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Does Daft Punk have a head? We know they don't. <laughs> yeah, so who knows? Between the two of them, I'm sure Daft Punk could scare up a head. What about yeah. what about Dead Mouse? What about Dead uh, Mouse? Oh, he does, because he's, he's out of his helmet all the time. Oh, that's that too. true. Yeah. And he's a douche nozzle. No, it's complete douche nozzle. You never see oh, marshmallow. marshmallow. That's right. It's Marshmallow that you never see. With marshmallow, that. yeah. Which I don't know if Marshmallow is a douche nozzle or not. Do we know? Uh, hasn't said anything uh, nearly as homophobic as Dead Mouse. Oh, Dead so, Mouse no. is the worst. Yeah. <laughs> I think Marshmallow is just a sad EDM producer. Aww. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Over Undertaker um, and so Alcatraz will get cards <laughs> for next. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, yeah. Uh, yes, the Over Undertaker specifically I booked I against the Deets. Death I Blossom, I believe. Next week. Oh yeah, what? I uh yeah, so an EDM producer. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but like more so, even even more so. Even like when more your so. debut song is just like being sad. It's like Alice DJ is better off alone. <laughs> That's your whole career. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That album came out in nineteen ninety four. What are you gonna do about it? <laughs> that that just means that it's appropriate. For our show. Truth. Alone. <laughs> Do you know how long it took me to find that dumb <laughs> entrance song for... It was so good. Oh, my God. For yeah. uh, Karma as well. It took way too long to find that peppy of a song. Oh. I was like, I need a peppy, yeah. happy song. How did I you feel when I gave be... you the... How did you feel when I gave you After Darks? <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is... This is, this is the... uh, possibly. We'll see. We Because we're in a shortened time frame... We'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see how I book it. I don't know. We might do some shorter matches too. We're gonna we're gonna see about some things. Uh, and that's in response to is Death Blossom Blossom getting two matches next week? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, yeah. Gotcha. We'll see. And and Smurf, you're bringing out a new wrestler next time. Yes, I am. <laughs> I I will be introducing the vessel. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you gangrel? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> is this the one you were telling me about earlier? Yes, it is a, it's a person it... who is out of time and space. Oh, oh my god. god, I just read it. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I'm, gonna, I'm going, Angie. I think, with a similar idea with my, my second wrestler. Mm -hmm. Not quite. Uh, yeah, I was looking at the fighter, and I decided I wasn't actually interested in that, but I was having a lot of fun playing the monster. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm not a heel. Um, so my initial pitch was like a crossover with a fighting video game and like maybe their intro is like they come out of the arcade machine yeah some kids are playing with yeah. and then like go to fight but i was like i i love i love scorpion but i didn't want to play yes. a ninja because it feels yeah. like kind of appropriative and kind of weird 
Um, but you can totally have the theme of like this evil video game fighter oh, no. that emerges. No, no. From... Like I got it. It's just it's just a gladiator, right? It's a gladiator. And, yeah. And they've yeah, got a little, you... they've got a chain, right? You can always do just... primal rage and just make it a dinosaur. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You could though. Yeah, you could yeah. though. Luchasaurus is a thing. Mm-hmm. Well, Are you going to be a dinosaur? Can you please be a dinosaur? Can you please be a dinosaur? Well, let me pitch you the other idea that I was working on with okay, the no, monster no. was okay. like, uh, from uh, since since Gangrel was supposed to be a crossover with Vampire the Masquerade to try mm-hmm. and covet that market, mm-hmm. what if there was a parallel universe where it was with Warhammer fans? <gasps> the oh, Battle no. Axe? The, <gasps> <laughs> the tabletop miniatures game? <laughs> There's a crossover wrestler. Uh, his name is Warmaster. Uh, and he he comes out in the ring with like the crazy spiky armor and like yeah. an arsenal Pauldrons. of weapons that sometimes he uses but sometimes doesn't because like he's mastered war this entire time. Oh my god! <laughs> like I have I have fought across countless battlefields. Now I will test my my oh endurance against my god real yes. threats. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That's so good. Be a lizard man. Do, Do both. <laughs> That is Lizard so man. Good. Yeah, I, mean, I do fucking love Luchasaurus. How do you not love Luchasaurus? <laughs> you have to love Luchasaurus. Fuck. Did you I see mean, the it thread? also fits, though. Yeah. Did you see the thread of, like, AEW wrestlers as onion headlines? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's yes. really good. There's, there, I forgot what Luchasaurus' ones, but I remember um, it's Marco Stunt, because he's in mm-hmm. that tag team with Luchasaurus and uh-huh. what's his, Jungle, Jungle Boy. Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where Marco Stunt's is like, Toddler uh, terrorizes dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, I have to like laugh about the fact that like, so I totally named Diesel without remembering that there is a wrestler named Diesel who's a oh, dude. That, that's right, it no. totally is. No, I know, I totally forgot about him until after <laughs> we started playing this game, and I'm Oops. not gonna rename her because I'm like, eh, f it. There's also a wrestler who went by Karma. It's the way, there are so many. Like, what can I do? I'm there, like, there was a wrestler who went by Mr. Ass. Like, I mean, I'm yeah. Like... I, I, I mean, let's put it this way. I was originally going to name what? After Dark Voltage because I really was highlighting like the the lightning on the helmet. Yeah. And then I just and then I was like, eh. but I was like, well, it's too late now, and it didn't look completely like him. So I was like, well, it's fine. But like every but when you came out with Big Mama Diesel, I was like, oh yeah, fuck. Oh well. <laughs> It's like that's what it is. Eh, it's fine. It happens. Ours, ours is clearly unleaded. Except that Diesel doesn't have. And on that note, folks, thank you for joining us today yeah. here at um, All <laughs> that Nerds was a Here. Great, good flop of a joke there, Fox. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're just not going to talk about it. Uh, I would like to thank all of our audience for coming on by. I'd like to thank everybody who joined us today on the show, and uh, we'll see you again next week. Bye. Really? I, same I nerd know. channel, we don't, same nerd time. We don't really, so we don't really have an outro. We probably we should don't. have picked one. Um, yeah, I have, I have control. Check this out. I could just make us go to black at any time. Like, no, like, but we should actually say goodbye, Fox. Like, I could just do. I could just like, woo, and then we're gone. <laughs> and then no, we're back done? up. Nothing. I've done nothing. I <laughs> control so everything. For joining us, we uh, appreciate you all joining us for our first day. Did you really? Oh, you put us back up though. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. <laughs> Uh, for being here with us for our lunch day. Uh, come back next week. We'll be here, same time, same place. Uh, bring your friends. Tell us how fun it is when you hang out with us. I hate you so much, Fox. Stop doing that. It's stressing <laughs> me out so hard. <laughs> um, we'd love to see you. And don't forget, um, the things that are important to us, I want to end today with uh, yeah. Black Lives Matter. Remember that. Do your part. Share as much as you can. Give money if you can. Whatever you can do. We love you all. Um, and we'll see you all later. Stay safe.